He good. <laughs> what you say about Kevin? Huh? I say Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Hi. Yeah, we gave Kevin a mic hi. today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> all right. Well, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. This is Mike. I'm Pat. Bro, See, I did that. Don't, hey. don't say this is Mike. There is seven episodes in. They know who I am. Damn, that's, that's how you talking hey, already. Matt, hey, hey, hey! You gotta be confident. You look like Chris Brown's bouncer, <laughs> <laughs> bro. This is. Let me tell the audience something. Every time, this is the rotation is always gonna be. One week you're gonna see me without a hat, and one week you're gonna see me with a supreme hat. You're always gonna see me with the supreme hat when it's hat time. I don't own many hats. I'm just taking. I'm just getting this out the way for people to say, "Oh, why you keep wearing the same hat?" I'm not a hat guy. It just happens to be on camera a lot more once a week. So in between haircuts, I got a hat on. When I'm not a haircut, you'll see me with my hat off. That boy insecure like a mother. <laughs> I'm the same way, though. I feel like I got to do an explanation. I already did one about my pants. I'm we the same gotta, way. We always got it because you already know like, the Supreme has kind of like, you know, Supreme. Yeah, and everybody's like, oh, this is the only designer hat he has. Yes. Right. This is the only is. hat I own. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. Welcome to Crash Dummies, like I said. Um, how was your week? Stressful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Stress. You were you, a couple camps. You yeah. know that it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw you. It. It was looking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're outside all day, you just look so bad when you come in. Remember, I texted you uh, just some timestamps mm-hmm. and didn't say anything else at like eight. Yeah, <laughs> it's because I fell asleep. Oh, you fell asleep at eight o'clock. Yes, bro. That's I, the worst type of sleep. To I me. fell asleep and then waking up at like four. 10. No, I woke 10? up at 10. And, and oh, yeah, you're cr- on crackhead mode right there. <laughs> I woke up at 10. I'm like, 10 p.m. Damn, I was like, That's and I was crazy. like, I'm about to go edit again, and I uh, just fell asleep. That is crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Look, look at the stuff we're doing for content, man. For content, for y'all. For, for my everybody. Week, my week was, I twisted my ankle on Sunday. That. Oh, yeah, we did. That's when we were talking about hooping and how we're going to go in there like the monsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did. We did, but. <laughs> but I twisted my ankle. I ain't, I ain't come out there in a whole piece. <laughs> Put it like that. <laughs> the dry, I ain't, I haven't been injured since I played college football. So yeah, that was. It's, I thought you. I, you know me. I wasn't. I had my straight face. Everybody was probably looking at me like I was a a hater. I, like, damn, he <laughs> want him to be down. But <laughs> when you see somebody injured in football, we don't react crazy. Nah. So so we kind of used to it. Nah, nah, nah. Um. Yeah. What so, else? What else? What else? Oh, let me just use this time to plug just to get the plugs out the way. Okay. One. Thank you for the, all the support on YouTube, right? Right. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ooh. If you're watching this on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. All right. And if you're listening to the audio, just leave the audio real quick. Go to YouTube and subscribe. We're almost at 300. So by the time this comes out, we'll have 300. We'll have 300. For sure. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, hold on. I think we just got our first sponsor. First sponsor. First sponsor. And... We are sponsored by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming and champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. With this exclusive offer for you, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code CRASHDUMMIES at manscaped.com. 20% off. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed, optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. Ooh. I'm one of the first people to actually try the Lawnmower 4.0. I actually took, since they shipped both of them to us, I took liberty of trying both of them out just to make sure like it works good, you know? Bro, I'm sitting here wondering why my trimmer smells like Osher's pit. <laughs> So Manscaped engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on intelligent functionality and incredible comfortable grooming experience. The fourth generation cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. I now feel confident, you know, shaving down there you know i feel you i feel you i feel you well the upgraded trimmer includes multi-function on and off switch that can engage a travel lock it also gives you the ability to turn 4000k led spotlight on and off when needed for more precise shave also the lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through the additional guard lengths from one through four so if you wanted to give your your balls a a fade you could just give it to it a ball fade (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, did i mention wireless charging 
The new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction, which can help battery length last longer. Men, if you've been shaving with the same nut trimmer on your face, ew, pause. <laughs> you've been doing it wrong. No person wants to end up with pubes in their mouth. Why would they put that? <laughs> Not at all. It's time to get your own ball, hair, and body trimmer with Manscaped to make me time the best time and enhance your confidence with some nice, smooth boys. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the cold Crash Dummies at Manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Again, that's 20% off free shipping using code Crash Dummies at Manscaped.com. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Buzz, buzz. Now, back to the podcast. See ya. So, right now, we're about to call Colin and Tyler to talk about top three overrated restaurants and what are some of the best restaurants here in America. What up, Mike? Hello, I'm about to merge you and Wellman together. Hold well, on. Well, we're live right now, Bruton. Colin. All right, Wellman and Bruton. Yep. Oh, we're here. We're oh, live. Oh, All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They both picked up on the first answer, so that's very good. I don't know if you know this. Very but wide once of you're you guys. In your yeah, once you're in your mid-30s, there's nothing really to do. So, <laughs> so you just sit by, by your phone. <laughs> I've been crafting my list since 7 a.m. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I feel like we got to have a timer for this because I feel like both of you guys will get out of control. So <laughs> what, what's the agreement on the time here? What are you, 30 seconds, 45? 72 seconds. 72 seconds. That's a, a specific time. We're going one minute. Then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, okay. We'll dock 12 off. All right, go ahead. All right. So, Wellman, you want to go first? We got to flip a virtual Yeah, I'll go here. first. Okay. We are going top three over, overrated restaurants, okay? After he names his top three, everybody will get an a argumentative point of his top three, and we're going to tear down each other's top three. Are we ready? Wellman, you are first. Yeah. Okay, so is this uh, chain restaurants? Is this local yeah. restaurants? Let's what am I it, talking about? Let's keep it chain. Chain and it's fast food? Yeah, let's say fast food. You got to stop someplace. Okay, so I'm going to do it with fast food. First thing overrated, uh, I'm going Culver's right off the bat. Ooh. Nobody needs to wait 40, 45 minutes mm. for a lukewarm warm burger. <laughs> and he said 45. Crinkle cut, cut fries. <laughs> Kevin, you can hear from where it's 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 not it's not good it's not good like i can't it's not worth the like one one thing it has in its favor though because you've got kids is very clean bathrooms and changing stations but that does not make up for the fact i'm scooting in using that bathroom after one of my kids blows it up and then i'm out are you timing him kevin because you know that's, that's it that's it that's it right there so you got culver's is you're overrated. So we'll just we'll just name out over. Anybody want to argue his Culver's? Stand. I think Culver's very good. I think Culver's is very <laughs> very good. Moment. Especially for prox- proximity to where I am. I, 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 I don't. I don't. Look at kid. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm getting Frank hooked up with a bike right now. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if nationally you can find another burger that's just outright better than Culver's. That's on a national chain. Uh, Five Guys. Hello? Yeah. We're, we're, we can't even start on this talk. <laughs> oh, my God. We're trying to set a time limit here. Culver's, yeah. Wellman is 100% correct. Culver's is on the list. Uh, crinkle cut fries are garbage. <laughs> yeah, they're garbage. The burgers, the burgers okay. Uh, they, they also have Pepsi products. You know, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there, there, there's a reason why. There's a reason why you never hear anyone say like, "Is Coke okay?" Because Pepsi is trash. Like, you, you automatically like on a ten point scale. If you're serving Pepsi, the max you can get is probably a seven. <laughs> yeah. Culver's, Culver's is not it. That, yeah, the only place where I consistently get food that has Pepsi is Costco. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that's that's oh, a value shit. buy at a dollar fifty hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't even argue their statement. I can't either. <laughs> they, were too, <laughs> they took they were too they, prepared. They took everything from me. <laughs> You're just like oh my god oh my goodness okay 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 let's let's get back into it i'm just start uh naming restaurants for uh colin and tyler to tear down what i think is overrated here we go is five guys fries oh <laughs> i don't know this is a there's too many for for sure i think mcdonald's has the best fries oh come on now oh. five guys Hot, tell me, good. Tell listen, me listen, when listen, mcdonald's listen. Tell me when McDonald's lets you know the exact farm in Idaho that created the potatoes <laughs> for their fries. <laughs> They're not messing around. They're letting you know that it's it don't mean it don't know, taste Johnson better. Farm in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> yeah. They do tell you. It's in, literally in the commercials. For yeah. McDonald's? Yeah. I don't I don't think so. They, they, no, I, they swear, don't, I swear they, it's in They the don't commercial. give you the specific fry the specific farm you're eating from that day. I mean you go to you go to Five Guys, but what you know where they came from, you know, someplace in Montana that created the fry. You know? We don't care where it's from, as long as it tastes good. I think I think McDonald's. The, the, I, I think the pro the big problem with McDonald's fries is that you don't know what quality you're gonna get. Like they have great potential. It's, it's, it's inconsistent. I will admit that. Great, great potential. You know, five star receiver coming out of high school, but sometimes you know, inconsistency. Yeah. But yeah, I I just think uh, Five Guys is overrated though. The 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 fries, I like their burgers, but the fries because Bruton was hyping it up like it was the best thing since whatever they what, what do people say Swiss bread? No. <laughs> do, they have, do, they have, do they have sliced bread in Nigeria? I don't Did know. Did you say Swiss bread? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, this is like a coming to America episode right now. How do you not know our phrase? Sliced Swiss, bread, Swiss cheese. Or, or bread. sliced bread, sliced bread, bread. sliced yeah. bread. Okay, best thing. Oh my sliced god! Visa. Surprised revokes. you didn't say McDowell's coming to America. <laughs> <McDowell>. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my god! Oh, what else we got? Okay, so we got out the, that out the way. <laughs> we got to go. Um, if you had to get a chance, now let's talk about Panera Bread. I think I think we all got some opinions with Panera and how it's been. Um, what happened? I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about Panera Bread and how, you know, how overrated is Panera Bread? Well, I'll let Bruton start this one. I know he's chomping at the bit right now. I mean, let, me, let me tell you, it, it was, uh, you know, my power rankings, it was number one on my list today. <laughs> so, so Panera Panera's going to go out and serve happy turkey sandwich, a cup of broccoli cheddar soup. They're going to convince every sorority girl in America that they're eating healthy. Um, and then they're going to charge you $12 for it. Like, it is, it is by far, by far the most overrated, overrated restaurant chain in America. <laughs> I, I mean, so it's number one on your list. Well, you got anything number to one, number one. And, and it probably should be like a, a, a blank space at two. Cause it's so far away from, from number two. Bro, we we'll never get any food sponsorships. <laughs> it's over. We bash every food place. Uh, but, <laughs> well, well, you got anything to add to that? Yeah. Culver's was, uh, was number one for There's me. There's no way Culver's Panera. is number Panera. one. Culver's is your number, number one. one. Was number one. Rated? Panera, Panera was number two for me. Culver's is number one. Number overrated. one. Number one. Most, most overrated. Oh, oh my God. God. But that's crazy. Panera is that definitely is crazy. number two. That's crazy. There's not. Like, what what am I eating there? Like, what is going to fulfill a butter bugger? Two hundred and forty. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Panera. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Panera is yeah. pretty trash. Yeah. I went there and I was still hungry, and I, I, think I, and I spent twenty dollars. I just want to put the, this clip out there, this audio out there, so this gets to Panera CEO's desk, <laughs> and he can have a bad day. I feel like he just has a good day every day, and I think he needs to hear this. <laughs> So he's, he can have he's a gonna laugh day. and say we are not his target demographic. <laughs> I mean, here's the other thing about Panera, like you know, they they go ahead and put the soup in a bread bowl, and people act like it's a, you know the best, you know they act like it's sliced bread. Oh, you know, like you can eat you can eat the bread bowl after work. Well, well no shit, you can eat the bread bowl. Like, <laughs> I, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat my serving like like. Stressful. Give me a regular bowl like an adult. <laughs> this isn't like, this isn't like fifteen hundred 
I didn't, uh, I didn't spend a nickel for the stay at the uh, inn. I don't need a bowl of soup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh my. I can't breathe. Oh. All right. So now we're talking. So we got we got Culver's. Are you adding Culver's to your list, Bruton? You know what? I, I went I went uh, a little different. I went Culver's is on my list, but it's under it's under regional burgers. You know, <laughs> so like you're in Wisconsin and Culver's becomes vastly overrated. Okay. You go to Texas and Whataburger is vastly overrated. Yeah. I you go to California is. and In and Out is vastly overrated. Yes, In and Out. Yeah. I think all regional burger chains are just that's number two on my list. <laughs> just, all <laughs> <of them. laughs> just all of them. Okay, so we got Panera one, regional burger chains number two. Who do we have at yep. three? Three has to be controversial. So my- my, my number three uh, is Olive Garden. Ooh. All right, <laughs> hear me out here. Hear me out here. Right? I agree. So actually. Olive Garden, <laughs> Olive Garden puts their waiters in a shirt and tie, <laughs> and because of that, they've convinced people that it's fancy. Right? <laughs> they convince people that they're going for a fancy meal because they got a dude that walks around serving cheese. You know, getting getting you the Parmesan on your salad or whatever. And and, and you know, here's the thing about Olive Garden is that. People talk about the breadsticks, right? Yeah. The breadsticks are fine, mm-hmm. but if you're if the free product that they're giving away for free is their number one selling point, you got a trash restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. I don't. I just don't like the fact. At what point in their training do they go? Now stare deeply into their eyes and make them tell you when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> like how did this get passed through training like i haven't been to olive garden enough olive dude. garden is yeah i like that olive garden is overrated you know who overrated. else is stupid though have you ever been to cops yeah cops you see yeah. the hats they have to wear there i think cops is like cops Absolutely. is borderline slavery <laughs> <laughs> you see how they make them dress like what they make them put on like a fucking. I gotta put uh, up the visuals for the. They all look like they were like it. Like they just got off Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> like all right, now into cops. <laughs> like, I, I'm wearing a paper sailor hat, and I gotta take you serious. <laughs> like, what do you mean my shake's not ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I like <laughs> Bro, how do you keep that from getting scrunched up? You think they get a new hat every day? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they folded it, put in their like, pocket. <laughs> how fucked up is it about hey, we're all white and we're gonna have you work the chocolate machine? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like it's like yeah. that dude definitely has some weird fetish, right? <laughs> when everybody in all white. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, yeah, this is like this, this is this gets back to the uh let's let's go back to do a restaurant when things were great. And it's like for who? Like, <laughs> for everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know if we got the three. Did we get the three for everybody? Yeah, we said did we go so we said Culver I meant um Panera's number one, I think. Mm-hmm. And Bruton said any regional burger chain is number two. What was this three? What is three? Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Garden. We all agree Olive yeah, yeah, Garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Olive Garden is pretty overrated. I feel like no one ever really hyped up Olive Garden, though. Like, when was the last time you've been to Olive Garden? They did. And Olive Garden rates are prices at that. <laughs> they did? Yes. I've never been to Olive Garden. It's much I think more I've been expensive. Twice. I've been like, you can't get a plate under, like, $18 anymore. Like, they just, like, push it up. They really think they're that, huh? What are y'all opinion on Red Lobster, then? Biscuits go to these. Well, I will... Say this, Red Lobster was a fancy meal when I was growing up, so okay. it holds a place in my heart. Mm-hmm. Growing up poor, um, I haven't been back since because I don't want to realize it's trash. Facts. That's oh. how I feel about like. That's how I feel about like Golden Corral. Like, I got a question. We found out who's keeping Arby's in business. So okay, for, you guys ready to talk for, for our listeners? Oh, for our listeners here, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we're about to talk about Arby's right now. Yeah. Uh, you about to call me out? <laughs> <laughs> I was desperate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want y'all to know, for the people at home that's listening to this, I went to Arby's and was, after I got my food, I was immediately pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> and they searched my whole fucking car, ripped my Arby's bag, then dumped it out and just gave me like the two eye point. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do not go to the Arby's in, on Port Washington. They, they have that one real. locked down. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> we actually we actually have a, a woman is a defender of Arby's and a regular a regular. Wait, I thought I Wellman am. was gonna help me bash Arby's. You def- you're defending Arby's? Yeah, so um it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> first of all, Wellman, since we talked about the demographic, you have to state your uh, your demographic first so the listeners know. Okay, so I'm in my mid thirties. I'm a <laughs> I'm a Caucasian male, um, <laughs> dad of two, and uh, Arby's is not my favorite. It's not at the top, but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and he, here's a few things. Okay, one, I can eat like complete garbage there and hate myself afterwards, or I can eat like fake healthy there. They got market fresh sandwiches. They've got the wraps. But I can also get a pound of shaved, like, I don't even know if it's beef, uh, with a cheddar <laughs> cheese on it. It's, it's like the skin uh, of something. You don't, it's like, yeah, like, and it's delicious. <laughs> um, the fact they warm it we'll up in the microwave, best. though. What about that? I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm eating I'm hot deli sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, I like. Yeah, everybody's acting like they're gourmet people. Like it's not like you're. You've already made a bad life choice by going to get fast food. Okay. So, like, I might as well enjoy it. I mean, you, plus <laughs> they, they have two sauces. They have two sauces that nobody else has: an RV sauce and horsey sauce. <laughs> no. the shake is outstanding. Their milkshakes are um, really good. Wait, the, you the, uh, wait, you got their milkshake? Yeah, I've been like, when you go on trips, like you just get tired of the McDonald's, the Burger King. So you went to Arby's? I've been to Arby's a couple of times. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, I'm I'm not in double figures yet. So yeah. I, I'm in zero figures. FBI, <laughs> slow down. I'm not in double figures yet. I'm yeah. like super convinced that Arby's they sell Coke <laughs> through the drive-through. <laughs> There's literally, I swear to God, there's only, every time you go past Arby's, there's one person in the drive-thru. Okay. Yet they right keep next- building. How are they getting yeah. more and more Arby's? I don't care. Um, because there's an, <laughs> Arby's next, there's an Arby's next to a uh, Taco Bell right down the street from my house. Mm-hmm. And the Taco Bell is out the, out the road. So right. I cruise in, I go to Arby's, and these Arby's ladies are like, shocked that anybody's like there because i think i'm the first car in two hours <laughs> that's, that's all that food. works side note real quick that's all that works at arby's are bigger women like, oh yeah that, like that's all they yeah. hire like yeah and they, and try and apply for arby's if you're not a bigger woman and they make your day yeah that's they literally right. have that when you're filling out they go yes. like black white big female <laughs> these arby's employees catching strays here <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brune, how do you feel about Arby's? I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time what's, out, time out. Okay, the, time the out. Last, the, the last thing, too, is probably the number one fast food item in the game is their Mott Sticks. They're mm. delicious. Nobody else has Mott Sticks such as them. Brune, you need to agree with me because you eat like six things, and two of them are at Arby's with fries and uh Oh. Mm. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, I'll give this Bruton, you gotta stay with you. You gotta stay with you are. You gotta stay what you are. The curly fries up. No, you got year old male. Bruton, you gotta stay who you are. What demographic are you? Forty year old, forty year old Caucasian father of three. (laughs) Uh, I mean, here's the deal on Arby's. The the curly fries are are outstanding. It's it's an above average fast food fry. Maybe the best fast food fry. Mm. Uh, we, we 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 can argue that, but but curly fry. Uh, just in general, curly superior to crinkle cut, superior to a waffle fry. Yep. Uh, so, so it, it gets some points there. Okay. The mozzarella sticks, uh, very good. Um, it, as Wellman stated, I'm not eating the meat. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not taking a chance <laughs> on whatever whatever they're using for for roast beef. Um, hey, yo. Just, not, just you know, like uh, <sighs> I, I'm just not rolling the dice there. I'm not. I'm not a gambler like that. I'm not. I'm not going there. So. Um, yeah, I, I mean it's, it's okay. I, I'm not saying it's my first choice, but what's it? You know, you're in the you, who you're has in the a, middle of Indiana. You're in the middle of Indiana on a highway, and, and you got to make a stop. Yeah, Arby's works. Okay, who has a who has another dark horse? We'll do one more dark horse before we leave this topic. Last la, la, last question here. Any more dark horse restaurants that you think? You know what restaurant I really think is horrible is Hardee's. <sighs> What what is their chain? Not, Hardee's and what's the other thing they have? Carl's Jr. I, Carl's I Jr. Eaten. All of them, yeah. 
That's terrible. I haven't eaten at one of those since I had a birthday party there. Yeah. Like <laughs> 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 birthday party yeah. at Hardee's. <laughs> yes. Shout out. Keith Wellman, I know you're probably listening. Um, <laughs> you guys, thank you for the Hardy's birthday party in Langford, Michigan. In Langford, too. Um, I can't think. Uh, people, first of all, too many people disrespect McDonald's. D- let me tell you why. Not because I think all oh, their food is like great and stuff like that. The, it's the fact that you're paying two dollars for a hamburger and you expect anything different. You than, eat hamburgers from McDonald's? Cheeseburgers, yeah. Ew. Then it's crazy though. But why would you expect anything different? I wouldn't eat one from there though. Mike, I you should what did you eat? I eat the breakfast sandwiches. What did you eat what when you, you eat? were growing up? What do you mean what did I eat when I was growing up? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I ate normal food. What did you eat? What do you mean? What did you eat when you were growing up? <laughs> I ate McDonald's, Burger King, American chains. What did you eat? <laughs> Bro, I was here since I was five. What did you eat when you were growing up? I ate McDonald's when I was growing up. What did you eat before you were five? I don't know, like uh, normal cereal. <laughs> 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 I ate some uh, some no, goat some goat meat. You... I ate some goat meat. That's what I'm saying. You don't know it, like I don't know. You're behind in the game. <laughs> Your knowledge. What like... did you eat in high school when you're in that foster with well, that foster home? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Father Flanagan. <laughs> oh my God! All right. Any last dark horses before we before we uh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm throw one more out there. Uh, incredibly overrated, Cheesecake Factory. Oh, so Cheesecake Factory. I will say uh, it's me, overrated me, because of the price. To be honest, the price. Yeah, I mean the the menu looks like a CVS receipt, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is enormous. Nice. They're, they're trying to cook everything, and again, like they commit. You know, we we all went to a Cheesecake Factory like before a homecoming dance or something like that, or yeah. Stuff like that, and you, you get convinced that it's like a fancy restaurant. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's dudes trying to take their girls there for for first dates. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, a good first date spot, it, though. It, it's not good. Like it's, <laughs> it's, 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 the, the best thing you're getting is probably the best thing you're getting is probably like a six out of ten. Oh, it's six. They're, just, they're trying to do too much. You know, it's that it's that basketball player that doesn't know its role. So they're trying to. Uh, you know, they, they think they're they think they're a shot creator when they should be PJ Tucker in the corner. You know. What do you uh, what what what, they, what do you think their next step is? Okay, they name you CEO of the Cheesecake Factory. What's the first thing you do? Uh, you got to shrink the menu. You got to stop trying to do too much. Like, <laughs> your, your damn your damn name is Cheesecake Factory, right? Like okay, shrink the menu. Better cheesecake, but you don't need to be like you don't need to offer. 200 different menu items. It's insane. <laughs> I, I mean, could you imagine working in the kitchen back there? Having to hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, expert of nothing. Hey, table three ordered the, um, the filet mignon and also some chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With some soup. They ordered soup. Oh, they ordered sushi too. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Not even putting the soup in a bread bowl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right, I think that wraps up that segment. <laughs> We're running out of time. Hold camera. on, I didn't, I didn't get my third overrated. How much time we got left? Five minutes? Okay, I heard you. <laughs> you got five. I, 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 I didn't get my third overrated, and it's beat ups. Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yes. I, I used to think it was good in college, but that shit is trash. All, all national chain wing stops are, are trash. Wing stop? Wing stops trash. Okay. It depends. No, wing stops it's trash. It's, Anything Rick Ross supports, I support. That's what, that's what I support. <laughs> oh my! The goodness. fact that that Rick Ross it was so hungry one day that he tasted a lemon pepper and said, "Fuck, I'm gonna get my own damn restaurant." I mean, he didn't invent Wingstop. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He, he was on the ev- board. He just, he just, <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just All investment. you kids out there, Rick Ross invented Wingstop. <laughs> Tell your parents. <laughs> I just love. It. We got we got some young followers, so you know they're gonna believe us. <laughs> <laughs> like, our, our demographic is going up now, though. We're we're in the eighteen to the thirty four now. Thirty four, yeah. Eighteen to thirty four. You're, you're you're welcome. We're bringing a couple old heads on. That's yeah. right. We got a couple sixty year olds too. 
It's like three percent. Yeah, we got a six year. I don't know who's six. I don't know who's six. <laughs> Father Flanagan. Father Flanagan. What was his name? Father Flanagan. <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally dead. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Okay. A building is on fire. Uh-huh. Inside the building is your mom and a sibling. Yeah. Also inside of the building are your best friend's two newborn twins. You can only save two. Which two do you save? Oh, yeah. The twins are gone. Wow. Two newborn twins. Yeah, yeah they out of here. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. How's that crazy? I'm saving my mom. Uh huh. And I can save one more. I think. Oh, you can save two pairs. You, you can save two room? people. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm saving my mom and my brother. I'm saving my mom, and I'm saving one of the newborn twins. <laughs> Just one twin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make them like do something for it. I'm like you got five seconds. First one to talk wins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And for my sister wondering out there, my sister's wondering out there why I ain't pick y'all. How much money y'all gave me lately? <laughs> How much y'all ever did my laundry? Y'all ever clean my room? I don't think so. But y'all probably name one. Of, and if it's your kid, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna raise your kid after that. Cause I'm be like, your dad ain't want to save you. I saved you. <laughs> you gonna and make me seem like a dead. I'm gonna I'm raise your kid to like beat your ass. Like, why well, am I gonna be there? Huh? Are you gonna be there? No. Oh yeah, it is my my kid. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'm the twins are gone. I'm saving my mom and and my brother. Look, look. You think I'm gonna save your twins if you had twins? Yeah. Nah. I know you would. Nah. Yes, you would. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you see uh, Simone Biles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the, the um, she pulled out the Olympics. Yeah, she pulled out the Olympics. Uh, I, she. she I'm a, they call it the twisties. I guess a lot of gym uh gymnasts get this it's called the twisties Mm -hmm. uh i think it i mean some type of anxiety where she couldn't continue to go on so she uh dropped out of the team event and she dropped out of the individual which she was favorited in i hear so many stories about this about the reason why first i thought it was an injury right now i'm hearing i literally just listening to joe rogan talk about this with another person they looked it up was that um she has um, ADHD, and she takes Ritalin for it. Oh, and then Ritalin is not, um, it's illegal in Japan, so she couldn't use Ritalin. Oh. And she was just out of focus. So I'd imagine somebody was on medication and they took their whole it away. life yeah. and took it away. Yeah, that's crazy. They probably I won't feel that. the, probably has some type of withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah, you the, can get bad withdrawal from that. Yeah. Yeah. How you know? How you know? You take Ritalin? I Google things. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kev's on drugs. Um, so uh I this guy named Charlie Kirk, is it? Yeah. I think he, he says something, um like I, there was a lot of uh Simone had a lot of supporters from Jason Tatum to even a Michael Jordan quote that I'll read a little bit later. But this Charlie Kirk guy he took a different approach yeah. to it. If y'all if y'all know Charlie Kirk, he's a, a super right wing dude. Uh here on Crash Dummies, we don't really discriminate, but there's some people that are too far right yeah. and too far left, and that's yeah. that's where it gets weird. That's where people start to get hey. weird. So this is Charlie Kirk. I'm just going to skip it because he said a lot. Chewing on their gold medal, smirking at the Americans. I'm not okay with that, but honestly, that's where we're headed. We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. Again, if you want to be... If she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. Oh gosh. She's an incredible athlete. Man, of turn she's that an shit off. Well, look, 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 I, I think I skipped over a part. Listen to Russia. this Russia. Oh, yeah. They're so mad about Especially this. Especially when you have like three amazing athletes that can step up to the plate and do it. So you know who has the gold medal? Russia. <laughs> He's so mad about Russia. Russia. <laughs> I have to go look at these four foot eleven Russian Olympi- Olympians. Chewing on their gold medal. <laughs> this is the reason we got into podcasting. 
<laughs> because we started having conversations and be like, there's no way this person is better than us. Like, <laughs> that's the best he had. Look at these 411. <laughs> well, like, you know who has the gold medal? Russia. <laughs> Why does he care so much? You like, like apples? <laughs> well, how do you like them apples? Like, it's like what are you, you don't about? I don't think he supported Simone Biles when she was winning and all the other no. stuff. So why do you care? If you she doesn't you know compete? why he cares. <laughs> We all know why he cares. It's 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 a weird thing. I think people's obsession with athletes sometimes when they make the decisions to sit out because their own mental health reason, whatever reason they want to sit out, who cares? It's not that big of a deal. Oh, we pay the millions. Of, just don't watch then. Don't be a fan of the sport. You don't have to make a big fuss and start insulting somebody's character because they didn't want to compete in an event in the Olympics. Imagine if somebody came to like your job. You did one thing wrong and they just hounded you about it. That's what that's what people don't get about athletes is that that this is their job. Yeah. Nobody tells you when fucking Ryan, when you didn't meet your insurance uh, quota and you didn't get enough people on your company's insurance. Nobody talked about that. Nobody fucking booed you when when John hung up on you before you got your uh, point across. He Mm -hmm. just hung up on you. What if there's a bunch of people there to boo you and they tweeted like, yeah, John suck ass. Bill who retired in 87 would have never let this shit happen. (laughs) (laughs) Like what like what if people was um you know you know, calling out your son or something like that. Like I, how the announcer think, did LeBron James' son at the thing. Like these people don't think athletes are normal people. Yeah, and I think people do. That's the. That, I think that's the the beauty and the curse of being fans of something. It's like I bring an athlete because you're gonna have, you're gonna be in a position where people are rooting for you, and there's gonna be people. You know, you're you're paid to be critiqued in a sense sometimes. Right. Because there's, there's sports some, analysts that even on the way there too. Mm-hmm. Like we're. We're in that middle middle spot. Yeah. Like we're not super popular, yeah. But we're starting to pick up a little traction now. We have to, me and you have to discuss how we're going to respond to trollers. Like yeah. we, we have a lot of trollers now. We have like people that just hop on our posts and just like worry about what we have on or like yeah. just just hop one guy. One guy was saying that um, it was about the Jeff Bezos stuff we talked about. He's like. You guys co- copying content? I'm like, how is it copying stuff that's happened? That's happened. It's in the that news. It's, it's, Jeff it's, Bezos went to space. Every Only- podcast talks about every podcast talks about the same, pretty much the same broad topics Thanks. of the things that happen, and we just put our own little twist on it. It's just funny. It's still if we think if if the rocket looking like the, like that was funny to everybody else, of course it's gonna be funny to us. Yeah, sometimes, like so. I, yeah, I don't get that stuff. And then the dude, I look at the dude's page. And he's a podcaster that talks about current events. Oh, he's a podcaster? Yes. And he talk, he's not really a podcaster. He's a, one of those dudes that steps in front of the green screen uh, with the thing playing behind him. And he talks about current events. And he literally, so I literally copied his comment on ours and pasted it on his. And he commented back and called me a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, this is your comment. He literally took his time. Like, yeah, troll. I got time today, cuz. Yeah, that's the thing about us. Like, that's the funny thing about us. Like, when people try to troll us, we got time. We have, yeah, <laughs> we, got time. we are trollers. Yeah. <laughs> we were troll. We're professional trollers. So when you troll us, we on your ass. Yeah, I'm, I'll troll you at at any point. At any it, point, it'll I don't be, care. It'll be six months from now. I'm like, I got screenshot this dude. <laughs> Where your mom back. at, man? Where your mom at? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Simone Biles. And yeah. I like how Jordan came out in support her. Jordan said Jordan came out and said that he wouldn't be able to function with today's media. Mm-hmm. He he doesn't think I mean people don't I mean people like the you know, oh Jordan had a gambling problem or uh the NBA kicked Jordan out of uh the league. Mm-hmm. No, like Jordan took a mental break. Yeah. He couldn't take it no more. He was a superstar, and that's probably like an understatement. And he couldn't take the media. He couldn't even walk through a hotel. He couldn't he he couldn't go talk to his parents without so much media following him, and that was back then. Yeah. So he's imagining now to wear like all these cameras and phones during during that Jordan break. I swear, today's media would have killed him, or they would have done some super oh investigation God. on why what? he really quit. Because you know, there's all these ties to diff, different Facts. mobs, and yeah. the reason he oh, owed yeah. this money is like imagine. I feel like, look at all those TikTok conspiracies. Yeah, <laughs> they would have been all over him They'd finding been all anything. Over Jordan. <laughs> That's why I, they'd be like, "Oh, Michael Jordan smoked cigars. He threw the same cigars at this Italian mob in Chicago, yeah. and maybe he beefed with them over a golfing game." And like, they already do the stuff. So imagine if it was present day. That's, That's why LeBron is so 
good. I was gonna say the same yeah, thing. I'm not, I, I'm not a LeBron stan or anything. But that's just this time. If you mention LeBron five times on the because podcast, I don't want to be seen standing. as somebody that's like a LeBron like apologist or somebody that's gonna cape for LeBron You're no not matter Nick what. Right? You're not Nick Wright. I got you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. But LeBron is so private in yeah. the videos, the little pictures and videos that they have. Those are probably posted online probably fifty thousand times a day. Yeah, like you see the the selfies that LeBron took with uh, Bryce, mm -hmm. his son Bryce uh, and uh, Bronny. Yeah, he took like a selfie with them and it was like about to watch SpongeBob, and it's like a, like the selfie was taken in like oh nine two thousand ten, and they post that under his comments every time he makes a post. Yeah, so imagine if they actually had stuff on him, like mm -hmm. it would be crazy, bro. Speaking like, of um. Was athletes or on the topic of athletes you saw that um the Kyrie nike thing yeah did you see it i did see it okay i okay. actually saw it. i saw the there's a Kyrie uh fan shoe page or something like that yeah that posted some like uh it looked kind of unfinished but like some sneak peek or behind the scenes look at the the new Kyrie 11s yeah Kyrie 11 yes yeah. and then Kyrie was saying that he has he wants has nothing to do with the design of the shoe or the way it looks or anything like that. that that's crazy that you would think any of those guys with a signature shoe, signature, mm -hmm. the, your signature, the athlete's signature, yeah. and you would think that why, like, how is he not in the design of his shoe? Let me tell you something about Nike that I've seen and why some like even rappers don't like working with Nike when it comes to because they have little input on the shoe. So this, you know, the the designer Jerry Lorenzo. No. So Jerry Lorenzo is the owner of Fear God. So when Nike did the collab with Fear God, his initial thing at first he didn't want to do it because Nike wasn't gonna let him use his own silhouette. Like he wanted to create from the from scratch, right? right. Nike was like, no, we got you know different silhouettes and stuff like that that you can start from. Right. So they went back and forth and that they actually let him use his own silhouettes, which is the fear of gods. Everybody kind of knows the fear of gods. Mm -hmm. um, but Nike is not really known for giving the athletes so much creative control over their shoes. Yeah. And I've, it start. I'm, Kyrie's calling it out, so it's like it's interesting to see that. I feel like they Nike in a sense that they, they will show the athletes different stuff and the athletes the athletes saying yes and no to certain things right and that's rather what than the signature them, part is yeah, yeah yeah rather than them saying this is how i want to look maybe that's why they're so successful because they do that yeah, i mean look at our designers in look sense. at look at adidas and but, look at look at um under armor yeah. the fact that they let curry have so much like and curries don't look good <laughs> <laughs> like they're starting to look a little better, yeah. but they didn't look good. James Harden's shoe doesn't look good. A lot of I these, thought, I think James Harden looked good. No, I, I think it's a good hooping shoe. James yeah, Harden. good hooping shoe. I'm saying m most of these athletes. I see people okay. wearing LeBrons on the street. I see people wearing KDs on the street. You know what I mean? Yeah. But going back to like Kyrie, Kyrie basically said on his IG post here, "I have nothing to do with the design or marketing of the upcoming Kyrie Eight. So it is eight. In my opinion, these are trash." I have <laughs> you were three off. I have absolutely nothing to do with them. Nike plans to release it without my okay, regardless of what I say. So I apologize in advance to all my sneakerheads and true supporters of the K I A K I K A I eleven brand. I don't know why I tried to read it. The Kyrie brand. <laughs> That's crazy though. That now Nike. There's been a couple of shady things about Nike. We know Kobe was gonna move away from nike yeah because he didn't like the distribution of their shoe we know vanessa bryant even post kobe's death had some issues with nike about them releasing stuff yeah. that she had no control over so nike's been known to do this mm -hmm. they're just now getting called out because bigger athletes are starting to complain yeah you do wait now that i think about it, i do see a lot of people move away from nike yeah i think after the first contract mm -hmm. one Nike's these other brands are a lot like I want to say thirstier for these other athletes, so they're gonna throw a lot more money right. at them. Right, like, facts. Like Lamelo Ball would never have gotten this amount of money yeah. he got from Puma, you know. Right from Nike, but I, I think competition makes everybody better. Like that's why I'm glad like Puma's coming up, New Balance is coming up, all those other brands because it pushes Nike and all these bigger giant brands in whatever industry to start 
bending on a couple rules that they might not bend on. Right, you know? and start paying some of these players exactly. a little bit more. Exactly. Like now that you know, like, hey, the last couple of stars we lost. Yeah. We lost we lost Luca. Yeah. We lost Zion. We lost them both to Jordan. Yeah. You like, know they're kind of under the same umbrella still. Yeah, but th- no, they're different. Brand. Nike would love to have Luca, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. But I'm saying money that Jordan makes, Nike still makes. Yeah, for sure. But for not sure. Just, yeah, I understand directly, that. Yeah. But just for the, for that brand, yeah, they would definitely rather have them under Nike, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like, yeah, like you're like you're saying, like I'm glad that it's starting to get even now. Mm-hmm. Now these companies are gonna have to either start paying, making better shoes, yeah. stop making shoes look alike, stop only giving signature deals. To who you think is good like there's so many other stars that and that's the same thing with um that's the same thing with the, what the ncaa had to do you know now they're paying athletes right or letting them use their likeness because they saw all these athletes were going overseas now we go to the g, and g league, league yeah. and all that stuff so like i like when this disruption in 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 the the norm that what we think that's the norm and people are disruptors in it in that industry so yeah for sure uh speaking speaking of disruptors Disruptors. 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 We need to Disrupt. find another segue word. Speaking of, speaking of, we always be like, speaking of, speaking, speaking of, of, speaking disruption. of. Disruption. Let's talk about Aaron Rodgers reporting to camp. I know my um Wisconsin supporters out there going crazy in their car right now. So Aaron Rodgers basically said um, he's been mad how he's been treated. Mm-hmm. He's... um worked out with other quarterbacks in the summer who have expressed to him that there's no way he shouldn't have an input on the on the roster yeah especially with a career like he's had Mm -hmm. he's he's had the he's one of the better qbs of our generation like all time he's gonna be all time great um he doesn't like the way the veterans were treated on the way out the door like a jordy randall cobb charles woodson uh bj raji yeah those type of guys um He's expressed that uh, he would like he was and the crazy thing is he was willing to forgive the Packers for all that. Mm-hmm. He just said, "I want input in this one, yeah, in this draft this year, these free agents," and they still ignored him. Mm-hmm. So it's like even after I told you we needed better players last year, you went out and got Jordan Love and all this stuff. Remember, Aaron Rodgers has an agent who's also agent of other young talent yeah he's getting the insights on and basically he's saying he's just been ignored this whole time Mm -hmm. so my thing with the packers is like how do you let this happen i know this is part of not having an owner that's what sucks about not having an owner yeah that is true packers are the only organization that's owned by the fans yeah you know so they don't have an owner so they don't have someone that can so who's the top dog then the ceo the ceo okay yeah so it's the ceo and the gm Hmm. Obviously, I don't even know how much of an input the head coach has in it now that I know they're not even listening to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Like, how do you not listen to Aaron Rodgers? I think the Packers have been spoiled. With quarterbacks, yeah. With quarterbacks. They don't – some some Packer fans don't know anything but good quarterbacks. Like, yeah. If you were born around when Brett Favre was playing, you know, and he, he won a Super Bowl, and he was, they were never, like, mediocre with him, then they went on, like, a – then they went right to Aaron Rodgers. It's like not many franchises can say that, if mm-hmm. any, that just had to transfer. Your Hall of Fame quarterback was playing while your other Hall of Fame quarterback was already on the team. Yeah, that's – I don't think that's – So they been... think – so you see all these Packer fans. Somebody made a beer that says, like, 12 cry forever. Yeah. It's like, how do you make that? Like, this man is I... like – and then people got mad when he said he's the reason why people come to Green Bay. He is – you ever, guys ever been to Green Bay? People, other people other than fans? Uh, no, 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 no. Like players. Like that. players would come to play because cause of the winning. Because people believe yeah. that Aaron Rodgers can win them games. Mm-hmm. So I can take. But who's come to the Green Bay that's made an impact? Just the, the, the D-line dude? The, the D-lines. Uh, Zadarius Smith, I think yeah. his name. Where'd they even come from? Charles Wilson came here. Where the the D line dudes come from? Uh, I know one of them came from the Ravens, I think. Oh yeah, I just don't remember them. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember them coming. I don't know where they came from <laughs> exactly. But yeah, but he's definitely brought people here, mm-hmm. and he's definitely the reason that they've been relevant for this long. 
Yeah. Like he's really, really good. And he's made some and, – and then Aaron Rodgers complaining about the players and then people's uh, pushback is like, oh, uh, look at Devontae Adams, uh, which is – he's really good, best receiver in the league. Look at Greg Jennings and naming us. Aaron Rodgers made a lot of those dudes. Yeah. I don't know if Devontae Adams is the number one receiver in the NFL without Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I it, don't think it, it's just flat cut I and think dry. that the, the talent level that definitely brings Aaron Rodgers um, – I mean uh, Devontae's level, level play up. I think now if he goes to any other team, he'll still be as, just as elite. Yeah. But I think— It wouldn't happen that fast. Yeah, it wouldn't have happened that fast. Yeah. So that's my thing about it. Uh, I don't want to get too far into sports, but if you're a Packer fan and you're listening right now, appreciate Aaron Rodgers. It looks like you only have him for one more year. Yeah. So appreciate and him while he's Devante here. maybe for one more year. Because you'll know what it's like to go through a QB carousel very, very soon here. And you'll appreciate 12. So you better hope y'all win the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> it's like you just went on a rant. I'm sick of the ass, bro. I'm sick. I like You're not even saying one word during the Aaron like, Rodgers segment. I, I, like, I, like, I like Packers fans, yeah. but they're I selfish. All of them don't know what they're talking about. 95% of them don't know. They're a really good fan base, but anyways, <laughs> off of it. <laughs> what we got next? We got a would you rather question. All right. Would you rather someone see all the photos in your phone or read all of your text messages? I would rather somebody read all my text messages. Facts. Yeah. I got too many dumb looking photos. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it depends on who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be cooking people. I'd I got be, some. I'd be I got some up. really funny screenshot that, like, I there's. I, if I can't explain the context of it, <laughs> it looks kind of weird. You, I feel like every do all dudes got like some weird ass picture of like their side profile. Yeah, <laughs> like they they don't want to see. Be like, bro, am I getting bigger? <laughs> it's like, it is like in there because as dudes, like we're dumb as hell. We don't delete shit. Yeah, <laughs> we just be leaving. Be like, why is it a fucking picture of my thumb in here? <laughs> like, what would you rather, Kev? Honestly, I'd rather I'd rather have somebody go through all my pictures. Because I feel like, I mean, they're just really going to look through memes. It's not going to be that bad. I don't really have that much, like, raunchy. We raunchy don't have no raunchy. Oh, I thought you said, I thought you said raw cheeks. <laughs> I say what? So I don't really have that many raw cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I got to go. I got to go. You can go through all my texts, yeah. I think I'm going to go back to text. Because photos, I know I got some, like, like, you know, you ever just be naked in front of the mirror? No, I don't take. I don't have any naked pictures of myself on my phone. Hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's. I actually don't know what's in there because I don't delete nothing. So yeah, I don't know what's. Yeah, I have. I have like how many photos do you have in your phone? Me, I got uh, three thousand. <laughs> Guess how many I have? How many? <laughs> Twelve thousand. That's what I'm saying. I don't delete anything, bro. <laughs> how many screenshots do you think I got? How many screenshots do you got? Me? How why do I know that? Just look at your album. Just click oh, on five hundred seventy-two. I have three thousand one hundred. What? Screenshots. You just screenshot <laughs> shit. Freak half man, of, freak man. Yeah, half of it just memes. Like, look at my last screenshot, bro. Like, look at that. It's just random. Why? Why are you? I, I have no clue, bro. Bro, why is this in my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta send me that so I can show them exactly. I gotta show you some random. He looked like um, Mikey from Recess. <laughs> bro, look at the screenshot that. <laughs> bro, why do you got that in there? <laughs> Pause. Hey yo, who is that? <laughs> Why you got that in your phone? Bro, look like look, bro. Why? Why <laughs> like, is his head so round? It's square, actually. Square. That's why I meant square. I don't know. This shit like a GameCube. Yeah, I get just. <laughs> I got the most random screenshots in my in my in my phone. All right, all right. If you had one million dollars to spend, but we're going to die in seven days, what would you do with your money? If I had one million dollars. You're going to die in seven days. What would you do with your money? I don't know. Just go do something fun like in a different country. I don't know. Go do something fun. You sound like you're about to die already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it really matter what I do? I'm, I'm holding a competition. Of what? Of like, I just want to see what people would do for money. I'm just going to be standing in a random spot like, yo, I'm at Lincoln Park. First two here. 
to knock out this dude I'm standing next to, get 20000 <laughs> each. Like, they're going to call it, like, the pack games. That's going to be a haymakers. It's going to be all haymakers. A, I'm, uh, I'm right here. First person to bring me grill steak wins. I'm be on my Diddy stuff. So you're gonna do like a a game show, like a what's the human race? Yeah, like a human race. <laughs> be like a game show, have people doing something. First person to hit a willy on Martin Street. <laughs> have you seen the the movie Nerve? No, it's literally <laughs> it's literally just that. Like it's everyone gets put into a game on your phone and you're live streaming, and then they give you a challenge. Like tightrope across this building on this little wire, and we'll give you thirty five thousand dollars. That's the whole movie. What are the colors of the competitors? Huh? They're white. <laughs> <laughs> That's all <what> I thought. <laughs> <laughs> we moving on. <laughs> Do not apply. Kevin's black, by the way. <laughs> You guys get yeah, supposed to keep Kevin's uh identity secret. <laughs> let them guess. Oh yeah, we're supposed to let them guess my bad. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Someone offers you this deal. You ready? Hello. Yeah. yeah. Damn, dude, what are you looking at? Someone offers you this deal. Twenty thousand dollars for nothing. Nothing at all. They just give you twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, or two hundred thousand dollars if you can pick a number that they're thinking one through five. All right, I would just take the twenty thousand dollars to be honest. But let me <clears throat> listen. But I'm a risk taker, so think of a number. Three. You got no, 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 no. I was telling you oh, to think, think of a number. number. Oh, and I was gonna guess. All right, let's say okay. All right, let's. This so, is, hey, so I'm gonna pick hey, twenty. No, here goes the scenario. What's up, my fellow? No, I'm just fine. What's up, Mike? Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. You're dumb. I'm sorry. Wrong line. I got twenty thousand dollars for you right now. Uh huh. But I got two hundred thousand dollars in the truck you could have if you can guess what number I'm thinking of one through five. Gee Willikers, Bob. I'm gonna go with picking the numbers. I don't I don't want my name to be Bob. <laughs> um okay. Bro, well, be honest with the number. What number? One. What was it, Kevin? Two. Boom. Damn. You right. lost. And I might shoot you because I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just told you I got two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I don't trust you. <laughs> but you gotta shoot somebody after that. <laughs> right? All right. Like, I just told Sorry, you bro. I just told you I got twenty thousand dollars for you. And you're willing to give away for dumb reason. For a dumb reason. Then I told you to do something for two hundred thousand, which you failed, now I'm walking away. I gotta shoot you. All right, now I'm changing the scenario. Okay. Now I'm offering you. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hello, Patrick. What's um, up? Why the fuck you over here? <laughs> Yo, back up. So I got twenty thousand dollars for you for nothing, just for being yourself, you know. Because appreciate I like you. it. Thank you. <laughs> or thank you. <laughs> fuck is we talking for? <laughs> exactly. That's how my scenario would go. It wouldn't. I wouldn't even uh, in for. Or if you get, or ain't no or. Or I probably would have shot your ass. Right now. <laughs> or no. I got two hundred k. In the trunk, if you can guess the number that I'm picking, I just guess the number. Cause oh, no. I, cause I want I'm, everybody to, air, all the fans, think of the number I'm guessing too. You know why I'm guessing a number? Why? Because I'm robbing your ass, anyways. All right, guess the I'm number. Ju- <laughs> hey, I'm just wasting time here. I'm going to just play along. It's a gun in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got the number? Yeah, yeah. It's four. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. You got it right. I got I'm st- <laughs> and I don't want the money. I'm still going to rob you. <laughs> Here's your 200K. I, I swear I was thinking I about want four. 220. I'm ca- I came here to get the that's job good, done. That's a good chance, though. No, nah, I knew what it was. I knew what it was. It had to be. Because that's how many bullets I would have put in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. How much time we got? Good time. In 13 minutes. Oh, you heard about the Kelly Clarkson story? Yeah. Uh, the spousal, she had to give her her ex-husband? Her ex-husband. Yeah. yeah. This reverse. Yeah. Usually it's the guy. The city boys on top. Girl. City boys. What's the story? Do you, Kevin, you have the exact story pulled up? I'm pulling it up. Oh, my goodness. I'm pulling it I'm up. I'm pulling it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
My boy voice deeper than both of ours. <laughs> <laughs> Puberty uppercut at his ass. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that boy sound like God. Oh, no, himself. that was the story told you to pull up. That's why. But yeah, you don't have to pull it up actually. But yeah, she's uh who's her ex husband's name? He's a talent agent, is he? Is he? I think he is. He could have found a more talented wife then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Cox is talented. He must not, yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying like that wasn't going to divorce him. Yeah, but like, that's crazy. 200, 200K a month? 200K to do for spousal support. That's because um, I'm guessing the judge is ruling that you brought them into this like luxurious nice. lifestyle. So you have to keep them in it where they can maintain. Why does that matter, though? Because you can't just send somebody back to the hood. <laughs> yes, you can. No, you can, bro. They can adapt. Yes, like, you can. They're used to asking. Go get a job. They're, they're used to asking their neighbors, you know, for like, you know, having con- in the hood. No, nobody. Ain't no neighbors over here. <laughs> Fuck you looking I'm at, cuz. Kelly Clarkson's husband is not going to go back. Or ex-husband's not going to go back. Why would? He's a talent agent. In- 200K, bro, a month? Imagine you have to pay somebody, your ex-wife, 200K a if month. If I had 200K, I would understand those might be the ramifications of me d- getting a divorce. 200k a month imagine somebody doesn't love you that much that they'll pay you 200k they hate you that much i'll pay you 200k to go away a month but th- no usually they don't want to pay you anything i know but still they you gotta know, go to, you they, gotta go to court they know that's that. part of it like especially nowadays like nobody's getting out of that 200k nobody's month getting out of that to do nothing just nobody's getting out of that she paid an extra 1.25 million for his lawyer fees so she paid for his City lawyer fees to go against her? No, after the fees. So if since he won the case, I believe, yeah, oh, she, he had to, she now it. has to pay for his lawyer fees. Right, also. because she taking him to the high court. Yeah. It's expensive-ass court. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, how much is a judge? Expensive-ass judge. Everything in there expensive. <laughs> That's what type a- of courthouse is that? <laughs> $1.2 million? <laughs> judge got the Gucci robe on. What the fuck? <laughs> Every time he eats a gavel, is ten thousand dollars. Oh, oh ching, ching. It's people serving up catfish you in usually, the back. You usually see these cases in reverse too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's the, usually the guy, Doctor Dre. Doctor yeah, Dre Dr. had to Dre. pay his wife two hundred thousand too, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. I can you know sit I mean? on guess, my ass. Guess bro. how much she wanted before. What? Like two million a month. Two million a month. <laughs> so to Doctor Dre, honestly, he takes this as a win because he technically won, and just because I think it was going to be. 300k and then he won the case and then lowered it down to 200 honestly that's 200k crazy. is not really that much to dr dre but i think that's still of, crazy 200k bro. i heard that she was like there with him before like they got big yeah so she has a part in that maybe she's saying like i i'm i helped you make this move yeah. which i don't think is <laughs> well, i don't think he say? did all that because you know what he did to her right is what? that the same one no 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 it's a different woman i think that yeah he you're a woman beater yeah so he said that uh <laughs> so this is not funny but i was listening on the flagrant two podcast you know they talk wild yeah he was like uh dre beats oh <laughs> maybe he was trying to tell us something by hitting his wife that's crazy. <laughs> that's stupid, bro. We don't the woman beaters. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't see how you could touch a woman. How how angry do you got to be to hit a girl? I gotta be so angry, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. I don't. I, I don't even think. Even in a situation the, where you feel like your life is the in danger, only way I would hit a girl. Okay, she has to be beating me so bad that I feel like my life is in danger yeah i was like damn i if i can literally say i can't take one more hit from you without thinking i'm about to be knocked out now i feel <laughs> like i can come back but just with these dudes that be getting in like arguments with their girlfriend and then like hitting their girlfriend yeah. like bro it gotta be like it's dudes out here doing 20 years for like selling drugs mm. to people that want crack yeah <laughs> he wants crack i'm just giving it to him yeah <laughs> Right, and uh, then these woman beaters get like thirty days for like, like hitting their wife and abusing their wife. I think a lot of that comes from like the the woman being afraid to speak up too, and yeah. that, so they're like. But still, how much? How much is? How much do you get for domestic violence? Right, it, it's not a lot. Like you get probably more for almost a bar fight than you do domestic violence case. Yeah. Like it's crazy. It's ridiculous. I feel like a lot of these athletes beat those um those cases also. Yeah, for sure. They definitely beat those cases. But all those cases are also subjective. Anybody. 
all those cases are also subjective. Yeah. Like you should never put your hands on anybody, mm -hmm. man or girl. But also, what I'm gonna tell you this: this is free game right here. And Mike F said, "It's always the first person to the phone." Yeah. Like well, a lot of people don't know when you when you call about domestic violence, mm -hmm. when the police come, they don't care what story is true. Let's say y'all made up before the police got there. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to come. Yeah. Downtown. <laughs> you said so like, like let's say <laughs> let's say you and your girl were arguing. Somebody mistook y'all and called the cops. Mm -hmm. I'm answering this myself. Like if somebody called the cops. Like, let's say someone was mistaken, me and my girlfriend, we were arguing. Somebody was like, I'm calling the cops. I think this is domestic violence. But it really wasn't nothing. But they're like, somebody got to come down. Like, you got to, like, you got to take that. Like, you got, like, your girlfriend has to go downtown. You would let your girl go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go pick her up after. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, my goodness. Like, that's crazy. That's cr That's crazy. But... Like how did we get here? I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> talk about yeah. I don't even know how we got here. But anyway, City Boys on top, man. City Boys on top. Two, what's the dude's name? Two hundred k a month. Kelly Clarkson's uh, husband or oh, ex husband? That tab. <laughs> Kevin got so many tabs open. Just don't click on that one tab. It's my laptop. Brandon Blackstock. Brandon Brandon Blackstock. Yeah, that boy a G. More, more power to you, King. King. Get your 200 Crown that man. Get your 200K. Get it up. Run it up. Dr. Dre wife got it or ex-wife got it. He can get it. Dr. Dre. And that boy, he not a doctor. I don't know. Why did he call Dr. Dre? Same thing with, he related to Dr. Pepper. <laughs> that shit wasn't even funny. <laughs> I swear as anybody listened to this laugh, y'all just as late yeah. as saying. Yeah. 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 That's the. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Moving on. What about the Ashton Kutcher story? Kevin should actually have this pulled up. Right? Ooh, Kevin's yeah. going to talk. Right, get ready for this deep voice, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Kev. Famous couple Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis recently revealed on the Armchair Expert podcast that they only bathe their kids if you can see the dirt on them. <laughs> Adding, otherwise there's no point. I can't believe I'm the minority here of washing my whole body in the shower. Who taught you to not wash? It's what the interviewer asked her. Mila Kunis replied, I didn't have hot water growing up as a child, so I didn't shower much anyway. Shit. It's a musty-ass family. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care on this one. <laughs> till, till, they, till they see dirt? That's child abuse. How's that, how that neglect? How's that not neglect? Like... Until we see dirt. So y'all got to actually run. Like, I'm falling in dirt every day. Like, damn, mom. And, like, my arm dirty. I need a and bath. The, and the excuse for not having hot water. Man, I was in Nigeria with no hot water at school. <laughs> and I still took a shower every day or a bath. Y'all you had baths? Yeah, I actually did. Well, not really. So I had to go. <laughs> we had to go. Sometimes the showers wouldn't run because it's not 24-hour uh, electricity. So I had to walk across to a little well and pump water into a bucket. And then you walk with your bucket, but you know, you know, I'm big dude, so I get two buckets of water, and then you just take a little pail, you get yourself wet, and then pause. Lather. <laughs> what? 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 How is getting yourself wet? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> with water, how is she gonna get wet? <laughs> what? That's... Bro, that's not somebody called. I was on live on TikTok. Somebody said I had bisexual energy. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's a pickup line. <laughs> I feel like it was too. I was go, ahead, like, go ahead and say you do so I can shoot my shot. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's a weird thing to say to me. Like, <laughs> I wasn't even doing anything. He's like, yeah, said, brother, you got it. Come you got bisexual. That was the first thing. I don't even know you were telling me I he had. He might have been like a talent agent. He's like, you got bisexual energy. I was like, okay. I, that, more power to you, my guy. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he typed that with lip gloss. Huh? He said, mm -hmm. Bisexual energy. Yeah. I don't know. He like Do I, I? Am I sitting like like it? I don't know. Nah, I don't. I don't know if there's an energy. I've seen um, guys that are gay who are like very masculine, mm -hmm. and I've also like seen the opposite. So, yeah, that's why. So I don't think I don't I, like. How does somebody? It's have just the weird energy? that somebody would just get on live and just that's us dealing with trolls somebody yeah. just literally get on live 
and just say something about my sexuality when it had nothing. Like you, I wasn't doing anything but just like, sitting there drinking coffee. Like Damien from Friday at their next. <laughs> Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about before that, though? No. <laughs> I feel like I was getting the, sidetracked. The showering. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 How are you? I didn't get a shower. <laughs> oh, because I kept saying wet, and then you kept. Oh, freaking... oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how you shower in Nigeria? Keep going. Yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Oh, you just kept saying you want to say that, huh? No. But anyways, that's how I showered. But yeah, that's. So, oh yeah, that's her excuse is lame for that. Yeah, that's lame as hell. I can't believe Ashton is doing that. Ashton Kutcher says. um He washes his armpits and crotch daily, and nothing else ever. And he will throw some water on his face after a workout to get all the salts out. But that's it. Oh, I think I know they house stink. That's weird. Like you're that, stink. Just they're take a shower. Rich. They're both rich too. Let's take a shower. It they're, tastes like they're both very successful. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's a couple from that '70s show. Ash, you should know who Ashton Kutcher is. Yeah, you should is. know who Ashton Kutcher yeah. is. And Mila, what was it Kunis? Yeah, so you should know her too. She used to have a crush on her one. Guy. I ain't got a crush on her no more. I used to when she was on that seventy show. She needs that degree. Yeah, that that no not shower a college degree. for the kid. Now the that kid gonna grow up. Now the kid gonna grow up, <laughs> go to school and get. That's the thing that I keep saying about some of these celebrities. Like I never care about like, um, like what any of these kids are doing. I just, <laughs> I just, I just hate how some of these celebrities push their kids into the limelight. But you won't give them a chance to recover. It's like, yeah, I want to be. I'm 15. I want to be in the limelight forever. Maybe whatever superstars kid you can think of. Mm -hmm. There's a couple on my mind. But you push them into this limelight, and now I have to go back when I'm 18, when I probably should be making that decision if I want to be in the limelight or not. Yeah. And it's like, damn, dad, why you let me? <laughs> like, why you let me? Post why did you give me a shower? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why didn't you shower me and then tell the whole world that you're not showering me, bro? How do? You, first of all, when do you see dirt on the babies? Ever. <laughs> like, like babies should, do get really dirty, but I'm saying though, like, to you see like, dirt, till you see dirt. Like, if I'm, if I'm, if I can take a, I can not take a bath for like a week, and now you probably won't physically see it. You're gonna bro, smell I'm break me. out. Yeah, you're gonna smell break me, but out you don't, don't physically take... see it though. Like I'm saying, you're not gonna see dirt on my body. So when is the the time that you're gonna take see dirt on that's the, dirty on ashen. a kid's a kid's yeah that's dirty, especially if it's a newborn. Like if they obviously, like how do you say that? Like you, you know, you gotta new, be rich. Do, do we know these kids are young, young, like babies, like just born because their babies can't control their bowel movements. So what Man. do you do when they poop their? Pants? They definitely don't have a baby. Yeah, it can't be a baby. That's crazy. We call him we call him uh, Peta. Peta. <laughs> I said, know, purpose, I, know, I said that on what purpose, bro. Damn, I said that on purpose. I don't know. Child Protective Services, CPS. Yeah, yeah. that boy said, Peter, y'all heard him. They have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. Oof, that's Oof. what I'm saying. Seven-year-olds mean six and seven-year-olds mean they probably cooking his ass at school. Yeah, yeah. growing up the whole time, like I know you didn't shower when you were a baby. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. I, I like, listen, 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 <laughs> listen, 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 listen. He can't laugh at no jokes. Mm -hmm. Because if he laughed, like, let's say two, me and you were going at it, and let's say Kevin was Ashton Kutcher's son, yeah, right? I'm calling you blah, blah, and then let's say you land a good joke on me, yeah. and Kevin laughed, and I just turn to you like, I know your dirty ass ain't talking. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, he can't survive. No, He can't even laugh uh, at jokes. Yeah. It's, it's going to be like, rough for the He's going to catch so many strays. Bro, funny story. <laughs> so, when we are a kid, this is a story how... Child Protective Services ended up at my house. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I know you. You always on some weird <laughs> shit, man. So, one time my little brother was at school. We we're all at school, and then he got in trouble at school. So, you know, when you're kids, you get whoopings at kids, especially in, in the. Not all people. Not all people. We got whoopings as a kid. So my little brother then says, um, "My dad's gonna kill me." Like after he got in trouble, he's like, "Oh, my dad's gonna kill me. My dad's gonna kill me." <laughs> in fact. So then. This one teacher took that super literally and thought Davis was getting, like, abused at home. So she then calls Child Protective Services uh, on on my on my parents. So me and my brothers, we used to stay home by ourselves, like, pretty young. We we're always kind of, like, mature enough to stay at home by ourselves. So me and my older brother, we're walking. We get home. So we live in a building. So we come out the elevator. Side note. That's some black parent shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> black parents, like once like once the oldest kid reached like twelve, 
No, younger than that. Younger than that, probably like yeah. ten. I was in kindergarten when that like once home. the oldest kid know not to burn this bitch yeah. down. Exactly. You a babysitter. I think it helped. Like, do you know not to burn this bitch down? You know not to touch this. Exactly. You know not to touch that. I think it helped. There was three of us too. So, so y'all like, can think together. Yeah, it's one of those things we put all our brains together. Hey, bro, don't put the fork in the microwave. Hell <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part, we still did all that. We did the fork in the little. Uh, <laughs> you ever did the like the famous um put the put the dish liquid in the dishwasher? Yeah, I did that before. Ooh, that's I did the, that in my older age. That's like I feel like every kid go through that. Like, oh, I'm gonna put some dish liquid. In the dishwasher, then it foamed the whole damn... Uh, I put a toothpick in a, an outlet before, and the whole <laughs> electricity went on the house. But get back to the story, though. You you all right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you good? So the lady, you see a therapist? So the that? lady called Child Protective Services. CPS. and then Yeah, CPS. And then we live in a, a high-rise building, about uh, 26 floors. The ten, Jacks. Yeah, 26 floors, at, um, about 10 apartments on each floor. So when you walk out the elevator... There's you can look right and there's five apartments on that side and you look left there's five doors right, on right, the other right, side. Right. Yep, yep. So we get out the elevator, we look right and we see two people in trench coats knocking on our door. Us using our our spidey senses, we're like, all right, that this don't in Chicago. Yeah, okay. That don't look right. Like two just white dudes at our doors that we don't know and they're in trench coats. Right. So we just walked to the staircase. So they didn't. Even, they don't know how we look. So they're just there on assignment. So we just literally walk to the the staircase and go downstairs to our friend David's house. And we call my dad. Like, hey, dad, there's people at our door. He's like, oh, okay, just wait there. I'll be back. So eventually they coordinated some time to uh, speak with us. And then they, they brought us. We're in the house. And they all brought us in the back room. <laughs> and they're like. What? They all brought us in the back room. For what? To talk to us individually. Okay. So I sold y'all boys. <laughs> <laughs> so they talked to you like, hey. Does, does your dad hit you? I was, like, I was like, yeah, maybe sometimes like it gives me a little knock in the head sometimes if we're doing something dumb, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. He's like, are you sure? It's okay to tell us. Like they really like try to get an answer out you. Like, yeah. And in my head, me knowing that I probably got a whooping the other day, I was like, I should send this man to jail right now. I could send this man, ass to die. <laughs> be feeling powerful as hell. I'm like, ooh, what am I going to do with all this power? <laughs> but Yo. pretty much we said, nah, nah. Everybody was saying no. Yeah, one time I touched that phone with my mom. <laughs> I touched that phone. I said, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of shit to say. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. There's been a, been a lot of beatings around here. <laughs> a lot of misjustice. Yeah. A lot of shit that I ain't even get my fair say in. Yeah. Especially when you get them group whoopings. Yeah. Well, I be ready to call. Oh, man. When you get them group whoopings, when it's like, well, everybody about to get a whooping. I mean, I'd be ready. I'd be ready to go on first 48. Yeah, man, those are the and worst. Snitch, but yeah, pretty much that that whole thing just it kind of blew over. That lady, that lady was still on it though, bro. It's crazy, crazy. Like when, especially with, it seemed kind of normal when you're getting a normal whooping, like. But there's a difference between getting a whooping and being abused as a kid. Like your parents are hitting you for no reason. Yeah, if you like, and literally inflicting pain on you. When you get a whooping, it's like, it's like it hurts in the moment. And you're you're pretty good the next the next day. Yeah, if your if your dad walking up to you like, why the fuck is the carpet got linen in it? Like, yeah, yeah you need to call CPS. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but if you you know you out till midnight and your bedtime is like ten o'clock. Yeah, then you need something. Especially being a being a black man in America is like. You can't mess up outside the house, so mm -hmm. our parents have to discipline us a little bit harder. Yeah, because a whooping out in the streets is some bullets. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, being home alone as kids, bro, it, it was like we did so much shit. Like one time, we almost burnt our house down. Facts. Because done that. <laughs> you know, like you just had newspaper. We had the the gas stove yeah. just lining up newspaper. That I'm shit. like, I'm like lining up like a, then the, the the thing literally falls. It, it's just funny that. How much stuff my parents realized was broken when we were moving out to a different apartment? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a hole. There was, oh, yeah. there was a hole in the carpet that we covered with a rug. There was multiple holes in the wall that were covered with posters. Why? Why y'all got holes in the wall? Bro, we used to do WWE. All it's three dudes, three boys, all around the same age. Why the holes in the wall? <laughs> we were punching holes in the oh, wall. It was just normal you... drywall. Yeah, it's freaks. That don't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's why they always say like boys like growing up are so much dumber than girls. Mm. I used to do so much dumb shit. 
I was like, one time, like, you ever just walking past, like, <laughs> it's crazy because it's like something going off in your brain when you're younger that keep telling you to do shit. Yeah. Like, you like nine years old and you walking, remember the, the fire that used to come up yeah. on the stoves? Mm -hmm. And then you just keep walking past it like, yeah, what if I stick some paper in that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You ever like, touch an iron? Why, why am I thinking that? Yeah, yeah. To I see how iron. hot it was? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, let me see. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what all this I, I is. Like, <laughs> why she keep telling me to stop <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck bro i got one time i got so mad at my dad uh for out to punish me we we're walking and it was you know there's just a normal pole on the street i <laughs> my you know and, and my dad especially like any african dad you show any sign of aggression when you get in trouble that's an ass beating so then i kicked the pole i was so angry i kicked the pole sprained my ankle and they had to go up upstairs and still get a whooping <laughs> with a sprain the ankle for, and I, <laughs> that's crazy it was like a lose lose situation I think I've always been 100% every whooping that's crazy to go into a whooping with an injury yeah like you can't die like you <laughs> want to everybody used to know when you the, the best the worst part is like when your whooping is like more than like an hour away mm -hmm. like you ever had those ones be like yeah in 12 hours i'm getting my ass beat like you trying to do everything like you having everybody having the time they like yeah. like y'all playing basketball everybody like this is the best day ever you like yeah oh uh, shit i'm getting a whooping in about Bro, 12 ours, hours ours is so grim because like, i remember if everybody could listen to episode three i think it was back then you know nigerian punishment is getting on your knees so our, our punishment was like on your knees and your hands up right our dad would tell us <laughs> to do that and we have to be like that when he gets home. It'd be like an hour later. But we had a little secret. So our building, um, you can see the, if you, on a certain channel on the TV, you could see like who's coming in the lobby and out. So we literally just be sitting in the living room playing video games and have the the lobby camera on picture picture. So mm -hmm. it's just like in a little corner, see our dad coming. Or the other thing we used to do when our dad came home. If we wanted to like pretend we're sleeping or something, or just pretend we're like in our room locked away, mm -hmm. we'll lock every lock on the door. So my dad normally, would, when he's coming in the house, he just normally un unlock the bottom lock and then push mm -hmm. and just come in. But if the top lock is uh, locked, then you he'll push and you hear the little the little thump first. You hear oh y'all got time to yeah. go to spots yeah <laughs> so yeah we, we start getting sued, but then he'll hear us like you can't. You can't run super fast, so it's like you're running fast but quietly. Right, like, you're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the thing, the thing about my mom, right? My mom, like, she was like a sporadic spanker. Mm -hmm. Like, she gonna get you for like, <coughs> like she's gonna make like you getting five years in prison for this, you getting five years in prison for this. Five. I'm talking about spankings though. Yeah. As an aspect, like, okay, I got lost in the store. Plus, I picked up a toy and almost walked out with it embarrassed her and then i also um you know left something at the store that wasn't even supposed to be there like mm -hmm. i left her other cell phone at the store or something, something like that mm -hmm. so I, I got in trouble three times you getting three whoopings <laughs> And well, she gonna make sure. And I understood that, like now, like being like growing up is yeah. like there's consequences for everything. But my dad was terrible. <laughs> like one time, I got kicked out of school for, for fighting. Mm -hmm. Nothing. He was like, I, I had my phone. There was nothing. He was like, he just was silent. Didn't really talk. Yeah. Blah blah. Then um, he had took my cell phone for a little bit, and I snuck it back, and he caught me with it. Mm -hmm. Didn't say anything. Let me keep it. Mm. So about literally, so that week I did two things. So I got back to school the next Monday. I got kicked out on a Monday and went back to school on a Monday, mm -hmm. right? On a Monday morning, I was like, oh, oh, dang, um, I left my backpack at home. Mind you, we hadn't pulled out yet. Yeah. We're still in the driveway. This dude punched me like five times in my chest and said, you think I forgot about all the shit you did this week? I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I would rather have the consequence right away. I would away. give you a delay whooping. A delay whooping is the worst. Especially as a kid, it's like beating your dog, like yeah. like smacking your dog on the butt for something they did like an hour ago. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't understand. Like yeah. I had to like, I'm like, damn, I just why he do that? Yeah. It's like, oh shit, I did get kicked out of school, but it's just so delayed to feel so wrong. Yeah. That's... I need to call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to jail. Oh man. Dude. All right. So there's been the Bucks have won the game, right? They they won the championship. Milwaukee and the, Bucks. Okay. There was the Bucks in, in six thing, right? Yeah. The thing I noticed was when people were holding up six, they had the five fingers, 
and then they had one finger or one thumb out. Thumb? Like six? Like this, bucks and six. So Ew. it led me to think, how do people count? How do you count? If you're counting from one to Okay, to let's go. I go, uh, what is this, my index finger? Yeah. Middle finger. Uh-huh. Ring finger. So like a normal person. Pinky. And thumb, right? Thumb. So yeah, like five. a normal people. Five. I know some people that count one with their thumb. Two. Ew, one, two, one. One that does that that's I disgusting. Can't even, listen, I can't even pick up my middle finger without my ring finger Hold on. detached. Kevin, how do you count? Talk into the mic, sir. You you can't even see it though. Yeah, I can, but just talk. One, two, oh. Whoa. whoa. You see, I've did it so many he times. He said so one, two. One, go ahead. Two, three, four. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait, go back. <laughs> go again. Why? Because why you go one, two, three. That you did this? Yeah. Wait, what? I, that, I don't One, two, three. Why wouldn't you just keep it there? Because it's kind of smooth this way. So you Why go. You, I, so I, Kevin I, says he goes one, two, three. Yeah. So that's disgusting. So he switches it. At least there's no thumb involved. Those thumb people bother me. That's disgusting. I thought last time you me. said you put a thumb in there sometimes. I forgot what I did that time. What? I mean, what? <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? We talking about his fingers. What? <laughs> what are we talking? We talk about counting? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Sweet. I, all I heard is Kevin told me he put his thumb in there. He's like, "Yeah, I forgot about that." <laughs> like, whoa! I don't, don't want to be a part of this, bro. But yeah, I just that was just something I noticed. I was like, "Why do people use their thumbs to count as one?" Yeah, I don't. If I you don't, count I don't like that. If you count, cut your hand off. If you count one through five with your starting with your thumb, they might have been holding something. Like I feel like it's easier to hold something like this than like this. Bro, Kevin, shut up. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> shut up, Kevin. <laughs> shut up, Kevin. <laughs> okay, I got a question for you. Okay, would you rather never have a toilet clog on you again, or never have the power go out again? Um. <laughs> Oh shit! I would never want the toilet to clog on me ever again. I agree. Yeah. What do you say, Kevin? I'm I'm having the power never go out. The power now. What does that have to do with you? Honestly, if the power goes out, my, so my, whatever area you're in, the power never goes out. At my school, when the power that, goes out like twice a day. I'm, oh, so I'm, you just saying that now? What about before you went to college? There are storms. You know that's what you worry about. How many times has the the power went out on you in your life? It went out. You're 19. Yeah, I'm 19. How many times in your life? I don't. That I I don't have. It's not over 10. It's well over 10. Is it over 20? Yes. Is where are where you been living at? It was at least ten <laughs> right. when I was at school. Is it at least three hundred and sixty five? No, not every day. So not even for a year of your life, the power's been out. But it every but time one, it happens, one clogged toilet can fuck up a whole lifetime. I haven't yeah. clogged a toilet in like four years. Bro. Four years, exactly. you know, that's that's, it doesn't matter. But you remember exactly when it happened. You no, just I told don't. no, no, no. Listen, yes, you do, <laughs> bro, Kevin. You don't know the feeling of going to somebody's house. <laughs> no, I do. A toilet. I, listen, tell you. the worst feeling is going to somebody's house, clogging a toilet, and then having to ask for a plunger. Oh, I'm not. I'm not that. I'm disguised and everything. I might scoop that shit out. No, put it in your trash can. Throw some tissue over that. Spray it down and be like, yeah, the toilet water just a little dirty. I don't know what's going over there. I need the next person to flush to take this L. Boy, that shit is terrible. That is the most. I gotta go. I try. I tried to do that at my uncle's house, and then the water left the bathroom. Like it, there is too much water, and it started to get all over the house. <laughs> why don't so, you? Why did you say it like that? I, I couldn't. The water it left the bathroom. Like <laughs> the, water, I mean, the water just hopped at the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to hide it all if it all stays in the, the water bathroom. just hopped out the toilet saying yeah was, I'm out this bitch there was one time <laughs> what there was the one water time, left the bathroom there was one time that um, when we lived in our old apartment was the up and down I guess Bailey was at the house and there was somebody fixing the apartment below right and then <laughs> the guy came upstairs <laughs> and asked for a plunger <laughs> to use the plunger for the downstairs apartment. <laughs> He's like, I'll bring it back. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I'm bringing that bitch back. <laughs> Which, so, the question is, would you let your neighbor borrow what, your plunger? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Let's rewind. <laughs> yeah. I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you clean off your plunger after you use it? 
Yes. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, you I do. Listen, it. listen. No, do you no, no. clean off your plunger? So I was trying to think how. How, how do you clean off your plunger? So listen, listen. I it when I flush it because the flush water is fresh. Exactly. What? I like put it in while you flush the toilet. No, no, no. Not while you flush it. Whoa. 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. So you just dip it in there and then flush it? Yeah. This is how I, I do mean, it. I mean, it's going. It's not. The, the thing you put the plunger in isn't going to get any cleaner. And I have a little plunger holster. So you just got a shit holster. I don't even use a plunger like that. I told you. You just said you don't you use a plunger. Said. Exactly. This man just snitched on himself. He's, he's but this is how I would I clean a, a, a plunger. So usually you use the plunger when, you know, there's a lot of shit clogged up in there. So you use the plunger, right? After you use the plunger, you lift it like two inches above the toilet, flush first, right? And let that clean water come. So when you got the clean water in the toilet, you kind of like spin the plunger in a little, little circles, little circles, little circles, facts, flush again. Facts. And then, you know, it, it depends on how how where you put your plunger. Sometimes you can throw a little bleach in the toilet. So, no. Bro, no, that's no, how you no, clean listen, your plunger. Listen, that's how you listen, clean your plunger. Listen, listen. I don't want to hear it. Up to your point, you're right with the water. You're supposed to rinse it and then literally drench it with bleach. That's too much, bro. No, it's you don't not. Do it. You don't do all so, so that. it can be clean the next time. How many times, you, if, if you think about it, if you think about it, you've only, there's no way that you clog the toilet more than twice a year. Right? <laughs> no. Exactly. Clogged- <laughs> more than twice a year? What the fuck is I going on? I use a on? lot of tissue. <laughs> That's it. The people are dumb as hell. People don't take courtesy flushes. <laughs> If you want them people that get on the toilet and just do everything and what I think my flush. My problem is I courtesy over, flush. My problem is I, I overuse toilet paper. I use a lot of toilet paper, so sometimes it's hard to judge. It depends. Like some people's toilet got those super toilets with when that shit uh flushes like a fire hydrant, the water goes down super quick. That's true. Some people got the weak little water pressure, so I don't, you can never judge. That's why sometimes when I walk into a bathroom, I give it the test flush to see what t- what I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> I walk let me, the, let me, see, let me see if they got that hydro span. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna have to flush before I wipe. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That was a good one right there. What do you think about bidets on a toilet? I'm never using one. What? You know you know what a bidet is? Would you use a bidet? I, I have. How you like it? <laughs> it's it's solid. <laughs> what it does. It's solid. It Ain't no balls. It's too late. <laughs> it you you say well. it's solid for what it does. <laughs> Okay, well, let me... Wait, okay, the the question is that when you use (laughs) it... Hey, wait, I got a question. Was your glasses on or off? (laughs) (laughs) If your glasses on while you using a bidet as a man, like, you just gotta... Why would I take them off? I'm not gonna get splashed in the face. (laughs) (laughs) The question, Boss. the question is that I always have with I always have with a bidet <laughs> is that when you when you use a bidet. So for people who don't know what a bidet is, is a toilet where uh, the water shoots up and like cleans your butt after Ooh. you're done using it. But the question is, when you use a bidet, I've never used one before. My question is like, when the water squirts up your butt, do you have to use a tissue to dry it off, or do you get up There's with a, a wet so You can get a dryer function added on, like you can. Oh, which, which one? Did, which so one did you use? Did so you walk? Did you leave the bidet with a wet butt? No. You use the, <laughs> so you let they the, spray like so an you air let freshener. The, so you let the dryer blow your ass. <laughs> yes I mean, or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hey, if you pay for a bidet, you got to use every feature. Who paid you? So you paid to use I didn't a bidet pay for it, but like I'm just saying. Where'd you use a bidet first shit. of all? My boy's house. What? <laughs> Why does he have a bidet? <laughs> hey, hey, Kevin, go ahead and try out my new bidet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he said it, but not like that. <laughs> okay. Not like that. He said, "Go try his toilet." And when he walked out, he's like, no, "Go try." It. He's yeah. like, "How was it?" I mean, yeah, I put some headphones in. I was chilling. Who man? Oh my goodness, that's a whole experience. <laughs> The fact that somebody owns so that. the bidet had a dryer on it, mm-hmm. like you didn't have to get up and or anything. A dryer, adjustable heights, speeds. Wait, do you have temperatures? To wait, wait, is the bidet? <laughs> <laughs> wait, the speed? Yeah, yeah, the speed. Yeah, like no. how hard you? It- <laughs> it, you can adjust how hard you want it. Oh. <laughs> So when Paul, no, Paul, no, we're, be, we're beyond that now. Oh, we wait, can't wait. let that slide. It's a bidet culture. No, so when no, the, ain't no bidet culture. with the dryer, how hard you want it with the I'm dryer in like, the bidet, right? Is it do you have to move it all? 
No. Nah. You can just stay in the same spot? Yeah, you're just sitting there. So if you, is the I'm driver, so uncomfortable right now. So if the driver is blowing on your butt and you feel like this is not enough, you turn it up? Mm -hmm. So so if it's blowing too low... <laughs> Wait, you turned it up? <laughs> no, I was fine where it was. <laughs> you thought it was all right. Come on, yeah. Hey, bro, that bitch hitting right today. <laughs> he, he, had to, he had to set his all adjusted for <laughs> Like, yeah, hey. Oh no! Wait, he like yeah, bro. You look like a medium ass. I'm gonna put this on medium. I'm gonna put this on medium for you, bro. It should be good. Oh my! Only God. thing he was missing was like an MP3 player, like built into the bidet, that like a completed. It. Or it could take you out for drinks first. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I still don't get. I still feel like you would get up with a wet butt if there was water spraying up. I mean, if, if you're using it inefficiently, if you just let it sit and if you just sit, do you have to like spread? Your, <laughs> wait, uh, do uh, you have to spread your cheeks? You just sit there. <laughs> you just sit there, <laughs> so you don't have to spread your cheeks for for the air to go up. No, it's a pro, huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> just sit there, huh? I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how we got here. I just want to no, watch you, watch you the only get bidet part, ads on like Instagram and Amazon. That happened to my roommate. You're going to get bidet ads. They ads. sell bidets? You can just get one? Mm -hmm. You just buy one, just add it onto your toilet? It'll pop up on your Google. Are you, what do you think about it? You going to get one? Nah. I mean, like if it comes pre-built in, I'm not going to like take it out. That'd be money to take it out. Do you but prefer I'm, bidet over normal use of a bathroom? I'll take what I can get. Besides a porta potty. <laughs> So I'm saying the what if you had a choice, they gave you a choice. <laughs> if hey, if Kevin, I had a choice, I'd take a bad day. That just seems classier. <laughs> the class to get water squirted up your butt. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> We're moving into a hands free world. A what? Hands free world. That's something I'm gonna have to keep my hands on. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I want this is what I don't need no all right, question, question. If you had to lose two limbs, mm -hmm. like the whole leg or whole arm, which two would you choose? So either my legs or your arms. Or my arms. Yeah. Which two, though? I would rather lose my legs. Both? Just your legs? It has to be two, right? Or yeah, whole. So they need all this. All you got to do, all you're all you going to have left is ass. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. all you're going to have left is ass. Like, you're going to be sitting on your ass all day. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather lose my arms. You don't have you don't have to lose. You can lose, like, one here and one here. Oh, so I can lose opposite? Yeah. So I would go um, right leg. Left arm. Left arm. I think that's, I think that's the way to go. If you're right-handed and usually, <clears throat> yeah, what are you trying to accomplish here? I don't know. Yeah, I gotta do. I gotta do both my legs. What, what them you them have about? you ever seen like some of them half people? Yeah, they always got a girl. You got a girl now, huh? You got a girl now. Yeah, she gonna take care of me. Yeah, true. Half man, half amazing. I, don't know, I would blow up. I'd be like half man, half. Oh, we both should lose our legs. No. Do half man, half amazing podcast. Like where we just ain't got no legs. Like if I ain't had no legs, like I want some like, like I want to be like propped up. You be going upstairs like a slinky. Man, we gave Kevin the mic. This man been saying some wild shit, man. <laughs> what would you rather have? I would lose both my. I'd lose my left leg and my left arm. So you just be you just fucking tip over all day. Where's your no. balance? Why are you I keeping have, your I leg? Have, I'd have one very strong leg. Because I, I only got the one leg. Everything why, works out that way. Why leg. are you keeping your why are you keeping just one side? So I can drive. Oh. Oh. I mean, I can keep my left hand <laughs> and drive, but oh. I'd rather keep my right, because then you have the it's easier to Oh yeah. It would have to be. You, you just want to drive. We're thinking athletic. But we want to drive. You're not really doing many athletics if you lose. You can still legs. swing on somebody too if that's all you got. Like if you in a bar, I always need a spinny seat just in case I gotta fuck somebody up. <laughs> Did you see you that? just spin and go. Oof, if you lost your, your leg like this, mm. if you lost your legs, you could be like a human backpack. Lost my legs. And just like wrap your arms around someone. That they that that fentanyl good as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that boy off that fentanyl. <laughs> Did you see that one kid um, with one arm that hoops? 
Yeah. Uh, How do you know he was from the Dominican Republic? Is he? Yeah, the dude don't he even speak English. Dope. He yeah. is dope. He is dope. What's his name? Kevin's going to look up his name. Yeah, he hasn't had any D1 offers yet so far, but he's super athletic. Yeah, he's good, but he he'll, can get do cooked. he'll get cooked in D1. Huh? He would get cooked in the real D one. You think so? <laughs> Hell yeah, gonna, yeah, the real, real yeah, D one. Yeah. yeah, I think he can score some points in like. Oh yeah, D2. he can play. He can play that and, and low, low FBS. He can play Hansel Emmanuel. <laughs> huh? Hansel Emmanuel. Hansel Emmanuel. Yeah, dude, that's crazy to know that I only have one arm. I'm still getting passed to, and I'm I'm yoking it too. It's not like he he has an arsenal of moves. Like a lot of people like to say, oh, he only can go right, which is true. He only can go right. He go, go he goes left though. But when he gets in yeah. the air, I don't know how they do it sometimes, but he his nub can <laughs> – no, his nub can actually corral the basketball and go for a layup. For real? Yeah. It's I ain't crazy. seen that yet. It's crazy. What? It's crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. Shout out to that young man right yeah. there. Defying all the odds. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't even go for that. Bro, if I had one, I'd be rats for me. I would not be athletic. I'm barely <laughs> barely athletic with two. I know. <laughs> I know getting punched by a nub got to fucking hurt. I heard it does. You ever seen you seen that video of the the, the nub fight? It's two dudes mm, with with nubs yep. fighting and it sound like fucking thunder every time. <laughs> whap, whap. Like they smacking each other with biceps, bro. Whole biceps. All that meat right here. <laughs> meat to meat. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That, that shit is crazy, bro. You seen and how to do first of all, let me tell you, let's rewind that. Two dudes with nubs met up and fought. That's crazy. Like they must have been on like like some armless website. <laughs> <laughs> you think they, they probably how, how did start, they find each other? This is like, how, this is definitely how they found them. They're probably in the Facebook group, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then they all Call what? <laughs> A Facebook group. Numb what? boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the face group. The army. <laughs> hand no hand combat. <laughs> but they were all in the Facebook group. Somebody probably posted something they didn't like. Dude probably said something. He said, meet up. Meet That's up. the only way they could have met up. That <laughs> Only way, <laughs> bro. Only way. Somebody had to fly over. Like, or maybe least. maybe somebody set him up. Set him up. Like, probably hey, went, I, knew, I knew two dudes with no arms. Let me make them meet up and then start talking shit. Like, hey, he was saying he the best no armless dude in this city. And then <laughs> to, to just beef stuff. You make them sound like some pirates. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting my booty. He said he got less arm than you, bro. You got to do something about that. He said he got less arm than you. Oh, Kev. <laughs> I say whatever Kev is bad, but I started the shit. Oh, Kev, too far. Too far, Kev. Too far. That is crazy, though, that. There's an actual video. So look that up on your spare time after you subscribe to our YouTube channel. To our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Go look up two armless dudes fighting. That is a real video. I did not make that up. Another thing I noticed today, so I was at camp, you know, coaching the kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I always want to talk about handshake etiquette. Right? Yeah. So, you know, like I right, coach, you know, and then when you see the you see the black player. It automatically turns into the the shake and the lock with the shoulder tap with the shoulder and sometimes Ooh, I like that shoulder sometimes tap. with the shoulder. Let but, me know like that's how you know somebody your real. But sometimes when I'm in a diverse situation where there's people of all different cultures, you gotta fill it out. You gotta fill it out. So it's, right. it gets awkward sometimes when you shake. You know, you reach the first side of the handshake, the the normal one, and it's like, and then you try strong. Do I feel his like fingers going across my palm yet yeah. to see if he's bringing it in? Boom! Then you lock. I was like, okay, he's locking. Yeah. Then we trying to see if there's a next level after that. If By it, now, it's 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 2021. So if you're if you're uh, um you know if you're a Caucasian male out there, right? Mm -hmm. All my Caucasian male friends. It's time to learn the lock. It's, I think everybody the lock should be universal. Universal. I get if you don't got enough rhythm for that shoulder tap, that's too much yeah. for you. And the shoulder tap with the elbows bringing in and the shoulder tap mm -hmm. and then the lockout. But you got to at least be able to lock in. I feel like you got to be able to mm, mm, slide to lock in. Work on that with your with your wife. Slot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jenny, come here. Boom. You should lock. feel. You should literally Snap. feel your fingertips going from your palm to the finger, just little super smooth, right? Hi, Trevor. Yeah, but yep. the th the thing about it is that I think a straight handshake should have no place but a business setting. I shouldn't be getting the super grip 
<laughs> okay, okay. It shouldn't be gripping my hand like that if we're not in a business setting. Right. It should be always just a a, a lock. Facts. Next dude that gripped my hand like that, I'm punching. Is I just want to set the tone. If you're making a bet or something, though. You got to have that, like, for sure. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, business. Yeah. I, think, I feel that's like business. business. So bet, betting is a business. I think betting, that's like, that's that that shake on it. But yes. the thing about it is that another thing with handshake etiquette, dudes always have a thing with, like, giving firm handshakes. I hate when dudes trying to go too firm. Like, I was shaking these kids at these camps. They were trying to break my arm. Like, what are you What are you doing? They're trying to show you how strong they are. Stop. Like, don't don't grip Why, why are you hand. trying to impress me? You're like, damn, hey, man, your handshake strong as hell. I, I believe you strong. Exactly. It's don't, not going to happen. Don't break my hands trying to prove a point. For, I, for, <laughs> I'm going to start squeezing myself. But I don't like I think that's weird, bro. What? what? Squeezing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Boss. Bro, I cannot say anything. It's gonna be. I feel like by episode like fifty, it's gonna be a full video of like Mike's pause moment. I know. <laughs> it's gonna start with like, I can't believe this dude said I had bisexual energy, and then the, the whole video gonna start to play. <laughs> oh my god, I still don't know what that means. Bisexual energy. That might be the name of the episode. Bisexual energy. <laughs> That's a good title. We're trying Mike. to reach a different demographic. Yeah, here. they're gonna come in and see that you know we for everybody. For everybody. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is bi that guess that is bisexual. It's for, for everybody. No, that's not true. Let's not do that. Let's what? not talk about that on this show. Let's not get that confused. I don't want to say anything wrong and have anybody that's that's not true. What? That bisexual means for everybody. Uh, it means like you like both genders, right? Yeah, but there's not just two genders. All right, we're not gonna get into all that's that. That's sad. <laughs> there you go. I don't I don't it's not that I'm I I don't do it. <laughs> Don't you dare listen, do it listen. on this show, Mike. We're not going to get canceled. I'm just saying. Listen. If listen, you talk listen. about the slash. No, no, no. Do I'm not, not talk about the slash. No. <laughs> 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 no, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? I'm an ally, bro. I'm definitely an ally for sure. But I'm an, Mike is going to talk about the slash. Never get it confused. Whatever we talk about, sometimes it's just jokes. We make fun of everybody. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I see. I'm just ended there. Okay, I, bro. They, I can't get canceled. Man, I, yeah, I had bisexual can. energy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. But yeah. No, we're not gonna get canceled, but not gonna talk about the slash either. Kevin's too young to know what we're talking what about, about. The baby. Oh, the baby. Speaking of getting canceled. Yeah, what do you say? Wasn't it like um It's like a video out of the baby at Rolling Loud. Yeah. Um basically he just went on this random ass rant that basically was telling people like you know when um the artists want everybody to get their phones up like put your phones up put your hands in the air type mm -hmm. stuff he was like basically put your hands in the air uh if you not um sucking blah 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 behind the blah 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 I think it was it was very very you didn't show up today with HIV AIDS any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two three weeks put a cell phone like that lady if your pussy smell like water. Put his cell phone like the uh, fellas. Lights up, fellas. If you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Let's be real about this. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So yeah, keep it pause that. Real. That was super specific. <laughs> <laughs> like I know the dude that was like sucking dick in the parking lot. I was like, how the fuck he see me? <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy though. Why would he say that? It, like, it, it, there's so much to say. It's it, yeah. Like you could have motivated your friends. <laughs> Put your hands in the air if you survived COVID. You're still alive. Yeah. I think you would have got the whole crowd up. But he you said like HIV. Yeah, like what if there's that's so random. That's just it's so there random. There could be some shit. somebody there with HIV. Like damn, it just brings up a lot more questions. <laughs> like a lot more questions. Like what's on your mind that you have to say that? It's so it's like so it's so specific. Like damn, I, so specific, specific, so Best. seductive. It's New York, dude, unique, though. New York, New York, unique, New York, dude that New York, wear a diaper and a pacifier. That's the same dude that did wear a diaper and a pacifier. That's what I'm and saying. Shot somebody at a Walmart. I mean, he was defending himself. You can We don't talk about cases on the show. Yeah, Kev. yeah. Come on, we don't Kev. dry snitch. Hey, we don't know nothing. It's not snitching if the world okay. knows about it. So, um, the baby has also um, got taken off a festival list. There's, he did? Yeah, he was supposed to perform somewhere. They took him off because of his recent comments. <laughs> and then Chris Brown put on this IG story, quote, shut the fuck up. Do your shows 
and thank everybody, then get the fuck off the stage. Mm -hmm. Which I agree with Chris Breezy. I think the baby's PR people are just going through friends. I don't he's think been, he has PR people. He's been in so many different, like, just different trouble, like trouble just because of all this stuff he is did. happening. I think he like does hitting, that shit on purpose. Like hitting people. There was a time that he was only, you only hear about that was him, fake. Bro. That was a fake story that one in that store. They said that ended up being a fake story. Which one? When he shot somebody? No, 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 no. That's all real. I'm yeah. talking about the. It's like a video of him in like a Louis Vuitton store. Oh, oh the dude punch, up No, no, that was real. Dude, yeah, dude was just claiming it was fake after a while. Oh, okay. It was real. He really beat the shit out, dude. But I'm just saying, every time he was getting popular was for punching somebody, man or woman, <laughs> and that's what you're famous for. It's like, but that, you know, he backing up his rap. Yeah, but it's like he told you. It, I feel like with that much money, you should have the right people around Bro, you. Bro, then proceeds to literally, so after he says that, then like the next video that he dropped was him like getting head. Like he's like literally butt naked. The only thing that's not showing is like his middle part. And it's like a book that says censor and it's a girl giving him head. What? Yes. Like the next video he drops. And he brought out Tory Lanez. Which everybody know Tory Lanez is involved with the Megan Thee Stallion mm -hmm. situation for shooting her. But the baby did a song with Megan Thee Stallion. They were cool. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very popular. And Megan Stallion did her song with the baby, right? Yeah. She goes off stage. The baby's next next song has Tory Lanez out. I don't think Meg was on stage with with the baby though. You don't think so? No, she wasn't. They literally were arguing on Twitter. Oh, okay. before this. You sure they ain't performed I'm together? I'm 100 okay, well, they... I remember during the BET Awards that happened literally two days after they argued on the internet. Yeah, there I was seen a song that. with DJ Khaled on it, and they're all on the same song. And when Meg's part was over, she literally just walked off stage, and then everybody, all the other I'm features. I'm talking about that Rolling Loud. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. Okay. There's no you way. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm 100. Check that, Kevin. 100 percent sure. Check that, Kevin. Because I'm Cause, like, cause I'm, Meg's, no, I'm like three and no with Kevin. Me Meg's. Uh, Boyfriend, party, partisan. He was already talking about fighting the baby and stuff. Huh? He he don't want to fight the baby. Yeah, the, you, that's why I'm saying the baby. After dude was talking uh, shit to the baby too, and he, he all he did was retweet him and said, "You must not know about me. me. You, you must, must not know about me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what they, that's what I'm I don't saying. think <clears throat> like party want to fight. Yeah, yeah. The baby is like literally telling you that he doesn't fight. When somebody tell you that they don't fight, then they got yeah, something for you. Yeah. yeah, just don't fight. A dude that that claims that they don't fight. It claims that they don't fight. Yeah, oh, it's official. Wessel Westbrook to the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, yeah. The team is banned from 2K permanently. How? Y'all yeah, say playing. that every year. And exactly. not playing what about the Warriors with KD? It's the same thing. Same flying. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we got one more. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, the donkey in the draft one. You want to end with that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey? A donkey? A donkey? A donkey or a giraffe? I don't know what sound a giraffe makes. I would rather ride a giraffe. To How are you going to get on the giraffe? We'll figure it out. How are you just 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 throw a couple ideas? Like Giraffes can like if I can train it, they can get on like down. And then still, can, how are you gonna get on it? I would just. Hop I don't think you re, do. You realize how big a giraffe is? Yes. You can't get on a giraffe. Yes, you can. The obvious question is a donkey. No, a donkey. Yes. You keep saying donkey. 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 Yes. Yes. Yes, American. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I would go a giraffe though. No, it has to be a donkey because you can't. A giraffe is just too tall to get on. We would figure it out if I have that mode of and you will always overshoot your destination. Like, no, I just giraffes. Uh, oh shit! You put you put giraffe a, take three steps. He's already three blocks down this way. Now you got to hop off and walk back. Nah, you put a little harness on it, right on the back. A little harness on the giraffe. A big harness. You got that on camera. And just then you have a little. Back. Yeah, you have a little. It cap, have it come down a little bit and just kind of like go up the little ladder on the side and then you. You ever seen a giraffe fight? Mm -hmm. I That's up, why I would man. want a giraffe. What, what, let somebody try me. Let you try me with what your What do giraffes do, Kevin? They just throw their neck around. Pause. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it, imagine you on your donkey and you cut me off with your donkey, right? You just go over me. I can't cut you off you, with a donkey. You cut me off and I say, hey, Pat, watch where you're going. You get an attitude. What do right. you think I'm going to tell my giraffe to do? 
What do you think I'm gonna do to your giraffe? What are you gonna do? It's gonna swing. It's gonna swing his neck. I mean, that's exactly where I'm shooting. You you think that you're gonna shoot everything? If we have to I resort, you th- if we have to resort to donkey donkeys and and giraffes, I bet we don't really have guns. No, it's just saying your your transportation. There probably still be guns. It'd be uh, arrows. I put a, a couple of arrows through. You his think you're gonna do all that before my my giraffe? I'll just shoot neck? you off. How about that? And then it's my giraffe. Why is this almost gun violence? You won't be show? able to catch them though. I looked it up. Giraffes can hit thirty-seven miles per hour, and the donkey tops out at fifteen. How do yeah, you know? I'm, I'm smoking. I you. just looked it up. <laughs> Loser. I'm smoking. <laughs> you imagine, bro. That's my laptop too. My my search history is about to be wild. I know. <laughs> Bidets, donkeys. Bidets, donkeys. Giraffes. Giraffes. Oh my goodness. Neck. <laughs> oh man. Uh, man i think we can wrap it up yeah that was a, a long <laughs> a long ass i feel show. like it was a long episode we'll see yeah we'll see after um, um yeah we want to give a shout out to all you crash dummies out there so when we call y'all dummies don't be offended that's just yeah. our new saying our highest tier on our on our patreon is dummy mm. like full fat. so i think so you want to be a dummy i think the the lowest tier is intellectual the middle tier is competent and the last uh, last tier, which is the highest tier, is dummy. Mm, I so like that. I think it's a, it's a privilege to be called dummy. Okay. But yeah, shout out to Wellman and, and Bruton for Colin for and Tyler, probably what they prefer to be called. Oh, uh, Colin and Tyler. I always call them by the last name. Because they coach us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're our uh, college football coaches. Yeah. We never gave them like the proper introduction. Yeah, just, we did it. Just threw them on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Talk, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to them, though. Yeah, I think yeah. that was a really funny segment. So I don't know. We'll depending on the feedback we get from that, we might do that a little bit more often. Yeah, we might. It, let us know if you want want us to go. We can go to them one time a show. Yeah, I don't see why not. We can we can call Wellman or Bruton as our our white correspondents yeah. to help us with with you know issues in that community. Yeah, you know you know like, won't be the first time. Like we probably should have called them with the Ashton uh, Kutcher and the Millie Kunis situation to see, you know, as white dudes with kids yeah with kids why do you say white dudes first white dudes with kids why can't you just say with kids because that's all oh ashton's white yeah, yeah ashton's white i just yeah. wonder like things that go on in that community yeah, we could have definitely asked them that. things that go on in that community <clears throat> i would rather ask them to see i did ask, perspective i did ask brute i mean uh wellman that tyler right. wellman and he does he does bathe and shower every day so i'm sure his kids do too okay so yeah so yeah but yeah so that has been episode seven. seven. Lucky number seven. Shout out to all the sevens in the world. If you were seven, you great. Sixes are terrible. I, Boom. I, I have no clue what he's saying. But yeah, thank you for, uh, again, we're going to keep thanking you guys every every episode. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, go subscribe. Follow us on every platform that's possible. Instagram, TikTok. We're everywhere. We got a Twitter. I don't run the Twitter. I don't even have to log into the Tweet. Twitter. Don't so anytime, hey, anytime you see Twitter going, that is purely Pat. You see IG, that's Mike. That's so not me on that IG is. either. That's Pat mostly. I'm, I'm just mainly on TikTok. We, me and Pat kind of do TikTok together, but Pat kind of handles the IG and the, the Twitter. So anything yeah. he says wild over there, any DMs that's being Mike. answered, actually, actually, that's hold Pat. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's actually our, our temporary producer here before he goes back to school. It's Kevin. So if anybody says anything that offends you, it was Kevin Norris. Yeah, yeah. All right. He just said his whole his whole government. What's this rap? What's your rap name? Little Puddle. Little Puddle. Look up Little Puddle on Apple Music. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Yow, I know you watching. If he, if 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 Kevin's trash, just let us know. You just let us know. We'll get a better artist up yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's All been right. episode seven. Thank you for watching. See listening. you, dummies. Peace. <laughs>